Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, I'm doing a 30-year rebuild of the Lions as voted on Patreon. Once a month over on my Patreon at patreon.com slash headstronggaming. Link in the description. I'm going to put up a poll. You guys can vote on what team I'm going to do. That's at the $2 tier or above. You can also get exclusive videos and things like that. But let's hop right into this because this should get interesting. Let's try to win the Lions a Super Bowl, shall we? We didn't make the playoffs in year one, but that is expected. We went 9-7, and seven, not bad. The Bears and the Packers 10-6, and six, the Vikings 5-11. and 11. Stafford, 3,600 yards, 21-7, and seven, not the best. I kind of can't wait to move on from him. Johnson, 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns, Swift with 9. I love this draft pick by the Lions. Receiving Amendola, 745 with 6. Jones 711 with six, Galladay 688 with two, Hawkinson with five. On defense, Davis 116 tackles to Vi 102. Sack totals 11 and a half for Collins, six and a half for Flowers, five and a half for a hand. Interceptions four for Coleman, two for Trufant, only one for Okuda. Interesting. I gave him superstar X Factor. I think he deserves it. Drew Brees with the MVP, Mahomes two. No Lions, Coach of the RP Carroll. We could be up here, but we're not. NFC Offensive Player Drew Brees, nothing Defensive Player Shaquille Barrett, we have Jamie Collins at 9, good, Offensive Rookie, we have Swift at 8, Hawkinson at 10, and Defensive Rookie of the Year, Tavaya 4, no Okuda to be found, but that's alright. Now what do we have for XP? Stafford, none, Johnson with 2, Swift with 2, Galladay with 1, Jackson with 2, Hawkinson with 4, which is really good. On defense, Okuda has five awesome. Three for Hand, two for Tafai, two for Davis, one for Harmon, because, you know, Patricia loves to bring in Patriots players. But let's go find out who's going to win the Super The Colts are going to start us off by beating the Packers 28-21. to All right, I don't really see that happening next year. But Amendola can go. Jackson at 66 overall. Not worth it. All right, we're good. Let's go to the draft. So we have the 18th overall pick. There's a lot of good players up here. But the one guy that kind of grabbed my attention was Madden. Would that be bad? Get Okuda, get another number one corner. I don't really know. Because then there's like the left outside linebackers. There's a few ends like McLean right here. Who looks really good by mid first round pick. I think I am going to go Robert Madden with the 18th overall pick. He's a 76 overall normal. What a way to start off. 92 speed, 79 man, 66 zone, 69 play rep. There is a middle linebacker still on the board. I know we don't need him, but I don't really want to reach on somebody. So let's go Nick McCann. 72 hidden development, 87 speed, 78 tackles, 63 block shed, 71 hit power. So there's a few first round talents still left on the board. I almost want to go right tackle just because he's second in the bench press. I think we'll give him a shot. 70 overall normal development. 88 strength, 75 run block, 73 pass block. So unfortunately, I don't think any of the rookies we drafted are going to start, which I suppose is all right. I did put Davis on the trade block, but nobody wants him. And I thought about maybe Trufant, but doesn't really seem necessary. So I think we'll just go to the playoffs. We actually made the playoffs at 10-6. and six. Wow, we're going against the 9-6-1 Cowboys. Packers 11 and 5, Bears 8 and 8, and the Vikings 4 11 and 1. Stafford 3,500 yards, 32 and 2. On what planet? Johnson 974 with 4, Swift with 9. Receiving Galladay 795 with 7. Hawkinson 723 with 8. Allison 706 with 4. Jones with 7. On defense, Trufant 86 tackles. Okay, that's not a great sign. 8 sacks by Oquara, 7 half for Flowers. Interceptions, two for Harmon, Coleman, and Okuda. And a few ones to go around. Mahomes with the MVP, Jackson two, Allen three. I'm kind of surprised Stafford's not up there. Doesn't really make sense. Coach of the year, we are at number six. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Stafford at nine. Defensive Player of the Year, Deion Jones. No Lions. Offensive Rookie, Vincent. Nothing. Defensive Rookie, McCann. Okay, we'll take that. Also Madden at 6, and that's going to be it. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky with all these hidden development guys. So Waller has 5 XP still hidden, but Galladay with 2, Swift with 1. Hawkinson still has 4. On defense, McCann, superstar, 7 XP. All right, what about Sweetie has 4 and doesn't really matter. 
Madden with two gets him up to a 78 overall. We do have to move on for Tufan after the season, though, definitely. Can we beat the 9-6-1 Dallas Cowboys make it to the next round? Nope, we lost 35-24. to I thought maybe, like, second year win a Super Bowl somehow, some way. Realistically, that just wasn't going to happen. Where are we? Right there. Prescott's going to go off, I assume. 281, 4-1. I doubt it. Stafford, 283, 3-1. Elliott, 120 with a touchdown. Johnson, 52. Allison, 118. Wow. Cooper, 97. Touchdown for Hawkinson. Gallup, Brown. Touchdown for Jones, Swift, and Schultz. Oh, and Washington. All right. The Ravens beat the Cowboys 37 to 21. So you beat us to lose in the Super Bowl? I hate that. That's embarrassing. Galladay is going to come back. Decker is definitely coming back. Davis, I did want to trade him away. It's probably better to keep him, but we have to vie. So I might just let him walk, to be honest. Raglan, I'll bring back. Allison, maybe, depending on the money, but we might not have a ton of money. What does Galladay want? 410, okay, with 46.5, that's doable. I'm actually going to let Raglan walk out the door, but I did bring back Allison, Decker, and Galladay. So we have 29.22. I would like to work in the offensive line or the outside linebackers. Not going to take Mahomes. That's not realistic whatsoever. We could use a safety, but we have Tracy Walker, so I think we're fine. I feel like this is going to be a year where we just don't really do anything. Unless we were like D.D. Westbrook. But not for 92 points. I don't really want to do that. Alex Mack, not with Ragno on the team. Villain waiver, I would if he was cheap enough, but I guess we're good. Eh, let's bring, uh, I mean, we could bring in Bowser for like a one-year deal if he'll take him. I'm not doing five years. I'll go one. I'll increase the money a little bit just to entice him to come to the team. 80 points is fine. McCordy, Brown, no. Demario Davis, don't think so. Kevin King's way down there, but no. I think we're good. We got Bowser on the team. That's good. Let's go to the draft. So we have the 24th overall pick. And look at this receiver. A- is across the board. You know I love the no combine. So we're taking him. He's a 74 overall hidden development. 86 speed, 89 acceleration, 79 catching, 83 catch and trap. There's only one first round talent left on the board in Chris Hernandez. But I don't really love him. I think what I'm going to do is go Blair Morrison. I know it's his late second, but I'm going to take him. He's a 68 overall hidden development. There we go. 68 tackle, 75 hit power, 81 speed, 80 acceleration. I'm going to cut Jamie Collins so we can get our outside linebacker rookie starting. So that's going to be good. And then I also want to get rid of Trufant. I did put both of them on the trade block, but nobody wanted them, which can't really blame them. But yeah, that's going to open up plenty of money. So we are looking good on offense. We're looking good on defense. I would say we do have to get better. Don't get me wrong. But I think we should make the playoffs again if Stafford holds up. Let's go to the playoffs. So we snuck into the playoffs again at 10-6. and six. We're playing against the 9-7 and seven Buccaneers. The Bears 12-4, and four, the Packers 7-9, and nine, and the Vikings 3-13. and 13. The Vikings are just not good. Stafford 3,900 yards, 27-8. and eight. I mean, he's fallen off a little bit, I guess. Johnson, 1,100 yards, 6 touchdowns, Swift with 10. Receiving, Galladay, 891 with 5. Beebe, 761 with 9. All right. Johnson, 652 with 6. Washington, only with 1. Why did Beebe start? Maybe it was a slot? I don't know. McCann, 100 tackles. Sack totals, 11 for Flowers, 8.5 for Bowers, or 4.5 for McCann. Interception, 7 for Madden. Awesome. 4 for Coleman, 4 for Harmon, 2 for Walker. Okuda. Kind of let me down. I'm going to pretend that he's like Revis Island. Nobody throws it towards him. I don't know. Mitchell for the Bears MVP. Yikes. No Lions. Coach of the year. There we are at number five. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Nothing. Defensive Player of the Year. We have Bowser at nine. Offensive Rookie. We have Washington at seven and Aubrey at ten. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Blair Morrison. Great at number one. And that's going to be it. So we have to find a quarterback this year, I have to assume. Because what? I think it was a 79 Stafford before we started the season or sim this season. Yeah, 79 will be up to an 80. doesn't really matter. Five for Washington. Still hitting development. What about Morrison's star development? But seven XP points. I'll take that any day of the week. Two for Okuda. Three for Madden. How much for Sweet? Three. All right. Pretty good. Can we beat the nine and seven Buccaneers? I have to imagine. I guess not. 45. 
to 21. I mean, it still can't be. I, it could maybe be Brady, but I doubt it at this point. But they still have all those great, great receivers. Gabriel, 244, 3-1. Stafford, 184, 2-1. Eckler, 69, two touchdowns. Interesting. Johnson, 42. Touchdown for DeAndre Swift. Receiving Eckler, 4 for 101. Touchdown for Godwin. Touchdown for Grog BB Johnson. And a touchdown for Sharp. The Bears beat the Lumberjacks 29-21, which I imagine has to be the Chargers. Who are we going to bring back? Ragno, definitely. Johnson, definitely. Hand, definitely. Bowser up the star. Ooh. Feel like I have to bring him back. Walker, I'm going to let him walk. Okwara can walk. I don't know what, like, the contract looks like for Stafford still. What do we have for money, though? 62.3? Bowser turned us down. I gave you an opportunity. That's a little insulting. Let's go to free agency. Now, if we just cut Stafford, we'll open up $21 million about. But I'm going to put him on the trade block just to see if we can get anything for him. I imagine not. But we still have a ton of money. 44.15. We need a quarterback desperately. Mitchell Schwartz, I don't think so. Kelsey, no. Von Miller would be interesting. I don't think so as well. Is there anything that's going to, like, jump off the page of me? Connor Williams, scheme fit. I haven't brought him in in a while. I don't think I've brought him in the Seahawks one. I don't think so. Let's go here. Let's go here. 54.8 million. That should do the trick. Anthony Miller, Telvin Smith's up there, but I don't think so. Sam Hubbard. Anything else? Danny Shelton, no. I, I thought about maybe bringing him back for a one-year deal. Bowser, what's going on? Why are you playing hard to get? I don't get it. Three years, $7 million, $3 million signing bonus. I know that's a little high. I'll give you that, but we're going to do it anyways. Let's go two years, 3.8. That should get him. 90 total points. Good, good, good. Oloken, I wish we needed him. But if we bring back Bowser, who I think I'd rather bring back, We'll be fine. Trubisky. I am going to bring in none of these guys. Yeah, we're fine. We got Bowser. Williams turned us down, but we did get Bozeman. Why, Williams? Why? Now, I am not in love with Jeffrey Booth. Just saw, like, the B, deep accuracy. I just don't love that. Where's his short accuracy? Now, we could go left tackle, but I think Travis Carr. That's going to have to be the answer. He's a 75 with normal, 87 speed, 70 zone, 73 tackles, 78 pursuit. Now, Booth is still there. I feel like I have to take a chance on him now. He's definitely not going to be the quarterback long term unless he's hit him with like X Factor. 70 normal, yeah. I knew I shouldn't have done that. I feel like this receiver, Jamal Moon, might be pretty good. He's a 67 normal. I mean, he's not great. 88 speed, 91 acceleration, 76 catching, 83 catch and trap. So we have an 82 overall team, 85 offense, 80 defense. And unless somebody takes Stafford off our hands, I'm just going to, you know, give him another year in Washington, by the way. Superstar X Factor. I mean, maybe I should have mentioned that a little bit earlier on, but I love that. Then on defense, I mean, we're looking good to go. McCann up to 85 overall, Morrison to 79, Okuda 86, and Coleman got star. Let's go to the playoffs. We finally did not make the playoffs. How did we do? We went 2-14. and 14. Perfect. I love that. The Bears 14-2. The Packers 8-8. Eight and, eight, and The Vikings 7-9. Stafford 37 on yards. Not bad. 20-11. All right. Rushing Johnson 871 with 10. Swift with 7. Receiving Galladay 892 with 7. Hawkinson 729 with 3. Allison with 3. Washington with 4. On defense, McCann, 112 tackles. Sack totals, 10.5 for Flowers, 5.5 for Hand, 5 for Bowser. Interceptions, 3 for Coleman, 1 for Okuda, Madden, and Harris. Mitchell with the MVP. That is going to be a problem. I can tell you that already. Coach of the year, Matt Nagy. Why would we up there? Offensive player of the year, Kamara. Defensive player of the year, Khalil Mack. Nothing. Offensive rookie. Nothing. Defensive rookie, Carr at 3. And that is going to be that. Rashawn Gary on the Vikings. Interesting. Don't think I've ever seen that before. What do we have for XP? I'm hoping Washington at receiver has a ton. He has two. That's not a ton. Booth with three. Not interested. And I do feel like we're going to trade back from our first overall pick, or I imagine the first overall pick. 
McCann with two, Morrison with two, Carr only with two. That hurts a lot. Okuda two, Madden one. All right. The Ravens with their second Super Bowl championship of this video already beat the Bears 35 to 28. I am going to so regret having to do the Lions. I know it was voted on, but the Bears are going to be such a problem. Hawkinson, Okuda coming back. Jackson coming back to Vi, definitely. Okwara, probably not, but maybe. I mean, we should have an insane amount of money again, right? 74.5. Oh, yeah. We have $49.48 million in cap space. We need a quarterback. And, of course, DeAndre Hopkins is there. I would love to bring him in. It's just like 95 points. I don't want to beat that. Lewis, I'd love to bring in. But once again, we don't need him. It's going to be a lot of players that we're just going to pass up on. Except Paris Campbell. We could probably get him for so cheap. Four, four million for Paris Campbell? I'll take that any day of the week. Miles Boykin's up there. That's interesting, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't really see anybody. Barnett, like. No, even though we probably should trade Flowers. Julian Love's up there. Nikhil Harry, I don't think so. I know I saw Daniel Jones, who we're not bringing in. Dwayne Haskins, nope. Cam Newton's up there. I'm going to side him. 1, 2.3. That's almost like in real life. But we'll take that if he wants to come to the team. Maybe as a backup, because I imagine we're going to take a quarterback. We kind of have to. Let's see, how are we going to get our guys? We got Newton, we got Campbell. Didn't I make another offer? Or am I losing my mind? Losing my mind. All right, so, you know, to the draft. So we do have the first overall pick, and the Heisman went to a free safety, which I definitely don't want to do. Let's look at the trade offers, then we'll see if there's any quarterbacks there. Really? No one-and-ones. I mean... What are the chances? There's the free safety, but quarterbacks don't love Hamlin, don't love Barnett. Richie does not look that bad, but I'm not taking that with the first overall pick. We're going to go Tomas Ortega. I don't know if I'm saying that right. 74 overall hidden development, 87 speed, 74 zone, 66 tackles, 76 pursuit. This is probably going to be the worst decision of my life, but I'm going strong safety. Javante Lawton. All the quarterbacks are still on the board. That's why I'm doing this. He's a 75 overall hidden development. 89 speed, 67 zone, 72 tackles, 78 pursuit. The quarterback I liked is off the board. And I am passing up on these two bums. They're not going to be good. I can tell you that right now. Third in the 40, second in the bench press. I'm going to go with Stuber. He's a 70 overall normal development. 90 strength, 73 block shed, I don't know, 65 finesse, I think that says. All the quarterbacks are gone now. That's fine. I don't think those guys would have been great. We'll go look for them, though, after this. Let's go with Joshua Donahue. He's a 69 with normal development, 81 speed, 80 tackles, 73 block shed, 83 hit power. So Hamlin went to the Jets, 73 hidden development. I don't usually do this, but I have to know. Star development, that's fine. I mean, it's better than what we have with Cam Newton, but, you know, what are you going to do? Barnett's a 71 overall with hidden development. You know this is going to be the one. Oh, no, another star. All right, two for two. I am fine. Then Richie was a 73 overall hidden development. Went to my Patriots. Star, all right, I am super fine then. So Carr actually got up to star development, so I'm going to put him down to corner. So we have our two hidden development safety starting. I love the defense. It's just a quarterback. I know we have Cam Newton, and we should be fine. Pretty good offensive line, some running backs, some receivers. 84 overall team, 87 offense, 81 defense. Just something seems off. I can't really explain it. Let's go to the playoff. We won our division at 9-7. We're going against the 9-7 Saints. Bears 9-7. The Packers and the Vikings 8-8. Eight eight, a very tough division. Newton 4,100 yards. 34-15. and 15. I'll take that. Johnson, 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns, Swift with 7. Receiving Campbell, 1,000 with 11. Galladay, 991 with 7. Johnson, 641 with 4. Hawkinson with 5. Washington, 4. Swift, 2. On defense, McCann, 116 tackles. Sack total, 6.5 for Flowers, 5.5 for Bowser. 
Interceptions, three for Lawton, the rookie, two for Tavai and Okuda, and a few ones to go around. Yearly Awards, can we have number one and number two in Defensive Rookie of the Year? Herbert MVP? No Lions, Coach of the Year. We are number nine, NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Nothing. Who wins, Mahomes? Giants, that happens all the time. Defensive Player of the Year. Nothing Offensive Rookie. Nothing Defensive Rookie. Wow. Lawton, Ortega, Stuber, one, two, and three. I really want to say Otuga for that free safety because of Breaking Bad. It's just, I don't think that's how you spell it. Washington has three. It'll be an 85 overall. One for Galladay, one for Campbell. On defense, Otuga, 8 XP, Superstar X Factor. Stuber has four. Lawton with six. So we are good at safety. Awesome. We have one for Madden. What about Carr? He has two up to a 79 overall. I love this. Can we beat the 9-7 and seven Saints, make it to the next round? Of course not. This is going to be a long, long 30-year rebuild. I'm so glad I don't do them all at once. I would be losing my mind right now. Let's take a look. 38-17 to 17 is not good. Winston, that makes it worse. 280 with two. Newton, 173, two interceptions. Johnson, 149 yards with a touchdown. Awesome. Two for Kamara, one for Swift, one for Gordon. Receiving Cole, 121 with a touchdown. Touchdown for Thomas, and that is going to be it. The Lumberjacks, a.k.a. the Chargers, beat the Saints 31-24. to If you go through Detroit, you're making it to the Super Bowl. You're not going to win it, but you at least make it. I guess that's saying something. I don't know. Who are we going to bring back? McCann, definitely. Flowers can go. Swift can go. Madden. For the right price. Bozeman, goodbye. Decker, goodbye. Garland can probably come back for a cheap deal. Waller, I'll definitely bring back. Sweet, I'll bring back. I imagine just tons of money. Oh, yeah. So we know we need a quarterback, but we need a left tackle. Campbell's up the superstar, by the way. So we're set a receiver. We need an end. And I guess that's it on defense. Maybe middle linebacker, too, but I think we'll be fine. And with all this money, I'm almost just going to hold on to most of it unless somebody blows me away. Fletcher Cox, I'm not going to do that. Wills, I wish you weren't normal. I'd love to bring you in. I still might, actually. Jackson, what is Jackson getting? 97 points. That does take him from a team in our division, so I definitely want to go here. I know Wills might make more sense because he's a higher overall, but... We're going to go for Austin Jackson. We have to go a lot higher. Well, not a lot higher. Probably like five more points. What if we go like 10, then go like 5.4? 76.8, 101 total points. Good, good, good. Other than that, though, I feel like nothing else really makes sense for this team unless we go with Connor Williams again. Wait, he took a one-year deal? Didn't I offer him like five years, four years? I'm kind of insulted. Not going to lie. Let's make a play at Nichols. Why not? I imagine that has to dominate the 77 points. Yeah, we could probably lower it, but I think we'll be fine. Anybody else? Jimmy Burks? I don't think so. Lee Ivy. I like the name, but I don't think so as well. I mean, we need a kicker. I'll bring in a superstar kicker any day of the week. That is good, and I think we'll be fine from there unless we go like Chandler Jones. I'll bring in Chandler Jones for a one-year deal. All right, that's fine. We got Jones. Jackson turned us down. That's who I wanted the most. I don't know what I'm really doing wrong there. And Wills is gone. Of course, of course, of course. I guess we'll just go to the draft. So we have the 23rd overall pick. That has to be our quarterback. It has to be. Is there anything better here? I don't think so. What was his name? John Lobato. He's a 75 with normal. Are you kidding me? 89 throw power, 82 deep accuracy, 83 medium, 83 short. Maybe with this offensive line, maybe with these receivers, he can make something happen with that. Even though it's normal development. I think I drafted a normal development guy in my Patreon exclusive Vikings realistic rebuild. And we did pretty well with that. So if we could kind of turn him into the same thing, that'd be pretty nice. Because I'm not taking another quarterback this year. Maybe if he flops, I'll take somebody next year. But let's go with Leon Irwin. He's a 77 with normal development. 
92 strength, 81 run block, 78 pass block. So we're going to go Joe Banks in the third round, the left guard. He's a 71 normal development. 88 strength, 71 run block, 77 pass block. Apparently, they drafted two running backs with hidden development for our team. I mean, I'll take it, but it's really going to depend on Lobato. I really don't know how he's going to perform, but the defense looks good. Maybe it can carry us. I'm certainly hoping for that. Let's go to the playoffs. And we missed the playoffs yet again. We went 2-12-2. I mean, maybe we could trade back this time around. I don't know. The Vikings 14-2. Bears 10 and 6, the Packers 6, 9 and 1. Lobato, about 4,500 yards, 35 and 15. I'll take that. Can he please develop it up, though? Johnson 964 with 8, Lobato with 4. Receiving Galladay 1,000 with 7, Campbell 953 with 6, Hawkinson 870 with 6, Washington about time. 841, 9 touchdowns on 91 catches. Johnson 2. On defense, McCann, 112 tackle, 122 tackles, rather, sorry. Sack totals, nine for Hand, six and a half for Nichols, six for Jones. Interceptions, three for Madden, and a few ones to go around. Now, we know that's not what I want to look at. We know we're going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year unless something crazy happens. But MVP, Lamar Jackson, wow, all the way up at number eight. So that's definitely going to happen. Coach of the Year, Frank Reich, we're not going to be up there. Offensive player, Lobato at five. Defensive player of the year, nothing. Offensive rookie, we knew it. Warford at five, Sanford at nine. Defensive rookie of the year, nothing. By the way, both of those last two names for the running backs, they were players on the Seattle Seahawks, 30 and rebuild, right? I'm not losing my mind. I might be losing my mind. Sanford might be in the community rebuild, now that I think about it. Four for Lobato, not great. Three for Irwin, three for Washington. On defense... I mean, nothing really. One for McCann, one for the safeties, one for Okuda. Carr with one. The Ravens are dominating right now, beating, well, I guess I can't say that team's name, the Washington football team, 31-28. to I hope they get a name soon, right? Will they be able to get it into Madden 21, though? That's the big question. Galladay, I might let him walk out the door, depending. Washington's coming back. Morrison, Tavai could go. I mean, Jones could go. Bowser. Hernandez may be for the right price. But once again, we must have a ton of money. Oh, yeah. Galladay wants three years, but I don't know. I'm going to make the offer. If he takes it, fine. Yeah, I mean, 199. what would that leave us with? About $37 million. I'm going to give him a one-year deal in the franchise tag, rather. Then let's go to free agency. So we have $40.61 million in cap space. Bakhtiari's up there. Not going to do that, but interesting. Aaron Donald? 92 points from the Colts. Um, I'm going to make a play at that. I know we just brought in Nichols, but I'll be fine with bringing Aaron Donald. I'm just saying. Keenan Allen's up there. Ingram. Is there a chance our quarterback went up? He wouldn't go up to start development. All right, so I can work with that for now. Fletcher Cox is up there. Cam Akers, I don't want that. Wilson, no. Swift. Aaron Lee. Huh. I mean, we don't need that, but, huh? Ridgeway, there's a lot of great receivers up here. Highsmith as well. I got to make a play in one. I have to. It would be foolish not to. Galladay is going to be gone after the year. So let's go five. Let's go six, five. Let's go 3.15. 114. A little much. I'll give you that. Makai Becton, if you'll come for a very, very cheap deal. I won't really be worried about it. We got Ridgeway, Becton, and Aaron Donald. I love it. Let's go to the draft with our first overall pick. Right away, I have to know, are they going to mess with us again? We can trade back till 10, and we can trade back till 18. And I guess we have our quarterback, but not really. I'm not sold on our guy. Best receiver, Harris, so we're not interested in that whatsoever. Just to play it smart, because I think we will make the playoffs next year. Let's trade back till 10. And we had another second round pick, which is good. Who'd they get? Who do the Falcons love to get? A right end in Hendrick. So I like to imagine maybe that's like Chase Young. I don't know. That might be wrong. It might not be. I'm not exactly sure. So we have the 10th overall pick. Not a ton of great quarterbacks, which is fine by me, I suppose. Some offensive linemen, a great defensive tackle. We don't need any safeties. 
Oh, don't do that to me. If Mitch Payne is there next round, I'm definitely going to take him. I don't know what we really need. Is that bad? I'm going to go take a look. As much as I want to take that corner I saw, we just don't need him. And I know he's going to be an absolute beast. That's the thing. Now, we do need an outside linebacker, and I don't want to draft for need, so I might just take him oh, in late first so we can wait on that as well. I might go Mike Lake. We are going to. Let's take him. He's a 76 with normal development, of course. 78 tackles, 78 hit power, 84 speed, 84 acceleration. Uh, I can't pass up on Mitch Payne. I just can't. Let's take him. 75 normal. This is insane. 91 throw power, 78 deep accuracy, 84 medium, 88 short. Is Detroit just like jinxed? Are they cursed? I, like, what's going on right now? Normal developments after normal developments. It just, it's hard to win with that. What is still left on the board for scouted or draft board rather? I'm going to go Waddell. He's a 73 normal development. That's all right. 91 speed, 76 man, 66 zone, 68 play rec. I really can't believe that pain is normal development. I just find that so hard to believe. Let's give this a generate best lineup really quickly because they will start Waller, which is good. So the offensive line's looking good. Receivers looking great. Running backs other than Johnson, not the best in the world. Then on defense, how did Lake have normal too? You know, I just feel like not going my way so far. Let's go to the playoffs, find out if we'll make it. We didn't make the playoffs yet again. We went 7-9. and nine. That's better than 2-12-2. and two. Bears 9-7, and seven, the Vikings 8-8, eight and, eight, and the Packers 7-8-1. and one. How'd the Falcons do? Am I going to regret this? Oh, they went 7-9 as well, so we might have back-to-back -back picks, which definitely works for me. Let's see how Lobato did. 4,000 yards, 28 and 12. I guess I'll take it. Johnson, 1,100 yards, 13 touchdowns. Awesome. Galladay, 979 with 4. Hawkinson, 867 with 7. Ridgeway, 812 with 5. Washington, 750 with 3. Johnson, 4. Jeffrey, 3. On defense, McCann, 121 tackles. Sack totals, 9.5 for Lake. I'll take that. 9.5 for Donald, 6 for Hand. Interceptions, 2 for Madden. And a lot of ones to go around. Yealy Awards, what do we got? Hurts with the MVP. I don't know why he does great in simulation. Coach of the year. Why would he be up there? Offensive player. I saw Jake Fromm. Mitchell's up there. Trubisky's up there, of course. Defensive player of the year. We have McCann at 9. Offensive rookie. We have Burrow 9, Payne 10. Defensive rookie, Lake's going to take it home. And Marsh is up there. So Lake should get a development up, but could you start at a good development? Because he's going to have like 2 XP points, which is insane for a defensive rookie of the year. If you think about it for longer than 5 seconds. Lobato at 2. 1 for Galladay and Campbell. 2 for Ridgeway. 2 for Washington. Nothing really on the offensive line. On defense, I mean, two for our free safety, one for our strong safety, one for Donald, one for Carr, Waddell with three, Lake three. All right, I guess. The Giants beat the Texans 28 to 25. They must have got rid of Bill O'Brien, right? I mean, there's no way they make it otherwise. Ragno, maybe for a one-year deal. Galladay can go. Hand, I'll probably just let him walk out the door. Carr could definitely come back on a two-year deal. And everyone else I'm really good on. How much money do we have? 33.4. That's a little low, I think. Maybe not. It seems low. No, it really does seem low. I'm not really sure why we're that low. Let's go two-year deal for Travis Carr. You're going to test out free agency. Who do you think you are? I'm going to franchise tag Ragno and let's go to free agency. So we have $30 million in cap space. We need an end. Don't really need a defensive tackle, even though Everett at 25 years old. You know what? I think we do need a defensive tackle. Because a 94 overall, I'm going to overpay him a little bit just so he doesn't turn us down. 10 million, 6.8. 106. That's only 10 more than the Texans. We've been turned down for less. Zach Martin, we definitely don't need. I mean, we still have Donald on the team, so we'll be fine. Simmons is up there, but no. Galladay, no. Chase on, we don't need. Oh, Hans getting a bunch of offers. Traquan Smith. Johnson. Drew Tranquil, Superstar X-Factor. That's just so interesting to see. Yeah, I think we're good. 
there's really not much we have to fix about this team other than quarterback. Feels like we're just a lion, just like mediocrity, you know? Sometimes you do good, sometimes you do really bad. But we got Everett. That's good. Let's go to the draft. So we have the 10th overall pick. It says the Heisman is a running back in Crable. I don't know how, I mean, even though we do have two first round picks, I don't know how I feel about doing that. So I'm hoping he's gone. Oh, he's still here. Do we take a chance? If you have an X Factor running back in this game, it makes it so much easier to make the playoffs win Super Bowls. Oh boy, here we go. Ross Crable. He's a 72 overall hidden development. 75 break tackle, 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 88 agility. Now that that mistake's out of the way, where do we go from here? Do we go McDonald? Early first. Don't really need him, but we could do something on the defensive line to make him start. If we, I don't know he's a pass coverage linebacker. I mean, we could move people around if we wanted to, but let's not do that right away. Defensive tackles that look like beast. Ooh, do we go Robert Chester? I feel like that outside linebacker is way too good to pass up on, so I'm just not going to do it. You don't pass up on great talent like this. Adam McDonald. He's a 75 overall hidden development. 78 tackles, 74 hit power, 89 speed, 84 acceleration. In the second round, I'm taking defensive tackle David Spencer. He's a 71 overall normal development. 86 strength, 75 block shed, 77 power boost, 63 finesse. So I put Nichols and Johnson on the trade block. I want to see if we can get anything and then mess with the roster a little bit. A 2-5 and a 6, 2-5 and a 7, a 1. Uh, yeah, what, like what is going on? They offered me a first round pick. That's insane. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Now Johnson was shipping out of town because we drafted that running back Crable. Threes and a six, three, six, seven. Which one's higher? The Broncos have at it. So we have an 84 overall team, 85 offense, 84 defense. We just need Lobato to step up. We gave him everything he needs, in my opinion. Then on defense, we even, are, I mean, the defense is so good. Three superstar X Factors, two superstars, good players all around. Let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoffs at 10 and 6 with a wild card spot while playing against the 11 and 5 Seahawks. The Vikings 11 and 5, the Bears 9 and 7, and the Packers 5 and 11. Lobato, 3,800 yards, 24 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. All right, I guess. Crable, 786 with 9. Receiving Ridgeway, 967, 8 touchdowns. Washington, 958 with 5. Campbell, 710 with 7. Hawkinson with 3. On defense, McCann, 98 tackles. Sack totals, 8.5 for McDonald, 8.5 for Donald, 7.5 for Everett. Interceptions, three for Madden, two for McCann and Okuda, and a few ones to go around. You got to love when your rookie leads in sacks, right? MVP, Jalen Hurts. If only he was on my team. Coach of the year. We are number eight. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, Jalen Hurts. Defensive Player of the Year, Roquan Smith. Offensive Rookie, Crable at two. Defensive Rookie of the Year, McDonald at one, which is awesome. So we have two guys with hidden development. I feel like the running back has to have X-Factor, if not Superstar. If he has Star, I'm probably going to lose my mind. Let's find out. And I feel like McDonald might have some really Star. Are you kidding me? Like, what's the point of Heisman if that doesn't matter? McDonald had Superstar with 9 XP. I'll take that, but, like, what is going on? I don't get it. It just never, ever, ever, ever makes sense. Can we beat the 11-5 Seattle Seahawks and make it to the next round? We are one and done yet again. How exciting. I have a feeling we're not going to win a Super Bowl. I mean, we can't even find a quarterback. Where are we? 33 to 27. I guess it's a lot closer than the usual. Wilson, 309 with four. Went off. Lobato, 292 and one. You're bad. Swift, 96 yards. Crable, 51. Wait, Swift? All right. Hawkinson, 117 yards. Westbrook, 110 with a touchdown. Metcalf with a touchdown. Touchdown for Corey Davis. And two for Washington. And one for Swift. The Texans beat the Bears 20-17. to Now, I have no idea who's going to be a free agent at this point. Oh, that's right. Our safety is going to be up here. Ragno, I might bring back again. Campbell can go. Lawton's going to come back. Jackson can go. Stuber can go. Donahue could probably go, realistically. Do we have a ton of money? Oh, yeah. We don't really need much. We need a left end on defense. We need a quarterback, definitely. But maybe another receiver, a left guard? 
I feel like we're so close, but it's probably the X Factor running back we need, and then we need a better quarterback. We all know that. Derrick Henry's up there. Guess who's my X Factor running back? That is, I'm going to give him a one year deal and way overpay him. Oh, yeah. That is going to be a big mistake, I'm sure. But until then, I'm going to have a ton of fun. Brandon Boston, 98 total points. I think we'll find somebody as good probably in the draft, right? Garland's up there. I don't really see much I want to do here. Like, is there a quarterback? There's Hamlin. Didn't want him. Barnett. Star, I guess. I thought Hamlin. Oh, he does have star. I mean, I could bring in Russell Wilson, but that seems bad. I, I think we're good. We got Derrick Henry, though, so that's good. Let's go to the draft. So we have the 22nd overall pick in the first round. And I just wish there was a great quarterback, but there's not yet again. That's kind of insane. I don't know. Is there any first-round talents left? We could go Johnson. We definitely need an end. We're getting to center eventually, but maybe not right now. Another end with oh, no combines. You know I'm a sucker for that. I really am. But I'm going to have to go Cedric Johnson, or Cedric Johnson, rather. 75 normal, of course. Of course, of course, of course. In the second round, we're going left guard, Sean Hughes. He's a 72 overall normal development. feel like that's just going to be the rest of this video. 86 strength, 79 run block, 70 pass block. So we have an 85 overall team, 85 offense, 87 defense. And I feel like this should be enough for Lobato. I don't know. I'm sure it won't be. We're basically loaded everywhere. Left end, right end, not the best, but let's go to the playoff. We won our division at 10 and 6 while playing against the 9 and 7 Rams. Packers 8 and 8, the Bears 7, 8 and 1, and the Vikings 4 and 12. Lobato, 4,300 yards, 36 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Awesome year. Henry, 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns. Crable, 2, Lobato, 3. Receiving Ridgeway, about 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns. Hawkinson, 930 with 6. Washington, 918 with 7. Stuber with 3. Crable with 6. On defense, McCann, 92 tackles. Sack totals, 12 for McDonald, 9.5 for Lake, 7.5 for Everett. Interceptions, a lot of ones. Now, I can't imagine we have anything or anybody up here. Herbert MVP, Lobato 8, Coach of the Year. We are at number 7, so I'm wrong so far. Offensive player, Lobato with 3. Why is someone messaging me? Defensive player of the year, we have McDonald at 9. Offensive rookie, Stuber at 2. Defensive rookie, we have Johnson at 6. For XP, 1 for Lobato, 2 for Ridgeway, 1 for Washington. Nothing really on the offensive line. Johnson with two, Lake with one, McDonald with three. Uh, just uh, so many of these guys should have been in development. You know it, I know it, Madden knows it, but they just want to mess with Can we beat the nine and seven Rams and not be one and done for ones? Yes. Now we have the Giants first round pick, so can we beat them? That would just be nice one time. Oh boy, to the Super Bowl. Can we beat the Buccaneers? No, it's Buccaneers versus the Lumberjacks. So that is the Chargers' second Super Bowl beating the Bucs 27-20. Now, I do want to take a look how badly we lost our game. I just hope it's not an embarrassing amount, you know? That's not what we want. It was 38-17. to Why? Gabriel, 266, five touchdowns. Lobato, 172, one and one. Goodbye. Warford, 69 yards, touchdown for Henry. Washington, 100 yards, three for Godwin, one for Northern and Hawkinson. And that's going to be it. Now, TJ Hawkinson is going to be a free agent. I imagine he's probably 31 years old, maybe 30 years old. And I would like to bring him back for the right price. 89 overall, though, maybe not. Ragno still up there, which is surprising. Lobato, just get out of my face. I don't want to look at you anymore. Irwin's coming back. Madden, goodbye. Waller, goodbye. Banks, I'll bring back. I mean, these two rookie running backs, I just, I don't even want to bother, really. What do you want for a contract? Three years? Never mind. So we have $51 million in cap space and no quarterback to be found. So let's see what we're going to do. Hawkinson, no. Chris Jones, no. Lobato, have fun with that. Haskins has superstar, which is interesting. I, do, I, I mean, I know I'm not going to find anything I want. Moon's way up there. 82 overall. We did draft him, but didn't really need to bring him back. 
Galladay's still kicking around, but once again, we don't need him. Ridgeway's up to X Factor, by the way. Um, I think we're good. I really do. Unless we run like Drew Locke, but I don't want to do that. Let's go to the draft. Now, I don't normally do this, but if the Heisman is a quarterback, we're trading up. It's a receiver, so I'm not worried about that. Let's go to our pick. First one, number 27. I hate that we need a quarterback. So I guess we're going to go Jeffrey Lennon. He looks like he's going to be a beast, but they like to prove me wrong. 74 hidden. It's about time. 94 throw power, 79 deep accuracy, 83 medium, 83 short. Let's be disappointed by a right end again, shall we? Nathan Matthews, 71 normal, hey -o! 59 power move, 82 finesse, 83 speed, 86 acceleration. Look at this corner still on the board. I don't like the C plus play wreck, but his combine looks too good. He's a 74 overall hidden development. I did not think he was still going to be there. 91 speed, 70 man, 77 zone, 71 play rec. So Payne actually got up to an 80 overall. We are shipping him out of town though. Sure, I'll take whatever you want. So we have an 85 overall team, 83 offense, 88 defense, and I'm hoping Lennon's the right quarterback. I mean, come on. We're almost 10 years into this, and it just seems like we're getting unlucky year after year after year. Even though we are making the playoffs at the same time. I don't know, it's weird. Let's go to the playoffs. And we missed the playoffs yet again, going 8-7-1 behind the Bears, who are 10-6, Vikings 8-8, eight and, eight, and the Packers 6-9-1. Lennon, 3,700 yards, yikes. 21-4, I like that. Rushing, Crable, 847 with four. Hubbard, four. Receiving, Ridgeway, 1,100 yards, nine touchdowns. Washington, 764 with three. Metcalf, three. Stuber, three. Crable, two. On defense. Lawton, 103 tackles, McCann, 102. Sack totals, 10 and a half for McDonald, 10 for Everett, 7 and a half for Lake, 3 and a half for Spencer. And interceptions, 3 for Waddell, 3 for Bryant, the rookie. So we had to have locked up offensive and defensive rookie of the year. Mitchell MVP still kicking around. I feel like we didn't have a chance at him, though. Coach of the year, nothing. NFC, Mitchell's going to take it home. Defensive player of the year. McDonald at nine, offensive rookie Lennon. We have Hubbard three, Humphrey four. Defensive rookie of the year, Bryant's going to lose out. Matthews is also up there. Now, Madden, if you ever loved me, just one time, just, just this one single time, X Factor, just do it for me. Star, five XP. This is going to be a long, long 30 years. McDonald with two, Matthews with three. Man, the Chargers won again, beating the Saints 27 to 17. Must be nice. Now, who is going to be a free agent? Okuda, definitely going to try to bring him back. McCann, probably not. Pratt can go. Lake's going to come back. Ragno's not regressing. I don't really understand it. Morrison can go. Metcalf can definitely go. And we haven't paid a quarterback. Yeah, so we're just sitting at an absurd amount of money. I'm going with two years, by the way. We're going to pay him 41.6 for two years. Easy enough. Now, I franchise tagged Ragno. I mean, I'm going to ride him out as long as I can. That sounds bad, but you know what I mean. And we forgot to, no, we, I forgot to look at the corner I drafted with hidden development. Am I going to be surprised? Nope, star development. It just it always happens, you know? Lines up the superstar, by the way. That's good. What about... Our quarterback, still star. Well, I mean, big surprise. So we have $67 million in cap space. We need a right tackle, defensive tackle, maybe another corner, definitely another middle linebacker. But other than that, we should be good to go. I almost want to bring in Davidson for a one-year deal. Replace somebody for a year. That won't be a bad idea. We'll get rid of the money at the end of the year. I think that's a great idea. Kenny Clark still up there. Orlando Brown, Joey Bosa, Nick McCann. I wish you were still on my team. Pratt, absolutely not. Becton, for a one-year deal again, I mean, there's really no reason not to at this point. 72 total points. Anything else? Young, we could bring in, but normal development. I'm not really interested in that. Richard Hardy, don't think so. Even though Washington and Ridgeway are 29 years old, so their contract's going to be up probably after next year. Or maybe the year after. I'm not 100% sure. Let's bring in Bond, because we're not loaded at corner. We have two good corners at the moment with Okuda, with Bryant, but as you can see, Okuda's 30 years old. That's not going to hold up long term. Amari Cooper's up there. I don't think so. Oliver, interesting. Lattimore's up there, but we're not doing that as well. 
McMullen wouldn't be a bad idea, even though Lake's up to start of element, which is fine. Morrison's up there. You know, I think we're good to go. I think we could boot a Baker as a backup. Is it a bad idea for one year just to, like, load up the team? Uh, that's why I kind of want to go up here and, like, get the punter. Why not? What is that? 23 years old. Let's give him a seven-year deal. $21 million offer. Welcome. I mean, Miles Jack, X-Factor, that matters. That I mean, I don't like that it matters, but it does matter in Madden. Stevens, I don't think so. So I think eh, Darius Leonard wouldn't be a bad idea for one year as well. Bring in a lot of one-year rentals, and we'll be fine with that. Let's go advance. We got Davidson, Baker, Becton, Morley, Bond, and Leonard. Good. Let's go to the draft. So I love this middle linebacker at pick 17, early first-round talent. My problem is we haven't been a linebacker. We just brought in Miles Jack. I don't think that should affect us because it's like offensive linemen, safeties we don't need, running backs I don't want to take in the first. So let's go Allen Washington. He's a 75 overall hidden development, 82 speed, 85 tackles, 74 block shed, 80 hit power. This safety still here in the second round? And Brewer seems pretty good, but I'm going to go Medlin. He's a 73 with hidden development. 90 speed, 74 zone, 73 tackle, 81 pursuit. I'm going to take a chance on a quarterback in the third round, Bernard Durant. He's a 70 overall hidden development. 93 throw power, 78 deep, 81 medium, 79 short. Because I'm not sold on Lennon 100%. So we are an 86 overall team, 84 offense, 89 defense. We know the defense is going to be high because of all the guys we brought in. But they actually put Miles Jack an outside linebacker. I'll take that. So we're pretty loaded all around. I almost want to put Medlin down to corner two, but I don't think we're going to do that. How old is Lawton? Didn't we just bring him back? We didn't. Would that be a bad idea? I'm going to put him on the trade block, see if we can get anything for him. Give me something good. A two and a seven, not bad. Three, seven, two, seven, seven, two, five, two, five, six. I'm going to trade him out of conference to the Dolphins. We didn't make the playoffs. We went 6-10 and 10, right above the Bears at 5-11. and 11. Packers 10-5-1 and, and the Vikings 10-6. and 6. Glad we didn't trade him there. Lennon 4,100 yards, 28-9. Not bad. Crable 8-23 with 9. Stepping up a little bit. Ridgeway 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns. Washington 874 with 9. Humphrey 775 with 3. 1 for Stuber, 2 for Crable. On defense, Jack, 108 tackles. Great. Sack totals, 11.5 for Everett, 10 for McDonald, 8 for Davis, and 5 for Lake. Interceptions, 4 for Okuda, 3 for Medlin, the rookie, 2 for Jack, Brian, Baker, Bond, and a lot of ones. That's a lot of interceptions. Was that 7? Then we have 8, so that's what? 15, 16, 17, 19 interceptions. I mean, that's a lot for one year. MVP, Jalen Hurts, if you say so. Nobody from the Lions. Coach of the year, Bill O'Brien. Very unrealistic. Offensive player, Jalen Hurts. Defensive player of the year, we have Mac or Jack Mac. Jack at 8. Offensive rookie, we have Durant at 10. Defensive rookie, Medlin 1, Washington 4. Part of me is just hoping Durant has superstar X Factor. And of course, he has superstar. I might move on from Lennon. I know that might not be the best idea. But Washington 4 XP will be up to a 79 overall. And then Medlin would start of element 6 XP points. But we'll take that, obviously. The Raiders beat the Vikings 21 to 14. Now, who is going to be a free agent? Washington, Davis is up there. We knew that. McDonald, definitely. Bond, we're eh, not 32 years old. Crable, I'm going to let him walk out the door as well. Spencer, probably not. Gilmore, probably not. And we're going to have a ton of money again. What do we have at the moment? 85.7 after a seven-year deal? $20 million for a linebacker? I know I'm kind of like, I'm going to pay him more just to make sure he comes back to the team, but that's kind of absurd, no? What does Davidson want? Two years? I'll see if he'll take two years. He can be good for two more years. All right, I guess not. Washington. I'm not giving you five years. Let's go down to one year. I'm going to franchise tag him. Then we'll go to free agency. 18.8. That hurts, but glad to get somebody for one year because we are going to be hurting at running back, at receiver. Big time at receiver. We're losing three guys. So we have $58 million. 
Chase Young's on the board. Ridgeway, Davidson, ton of money. Tate, we don't want. Josh Allen, we don't want. Abbott's probably not the worst idea. 97 total points. Let's go five. Let's go six. Let's go to 2.4 million for the signing bonus. 101 does beat the Bears, which we definitely want to do. I just want some younger players. Dwayne Haskins, absolutely not. Crable, I guess not. A lot of older guys, which if I could bring them in for like one-year deals like I've been doing, sure, but I don't really see that. Let's bring in a Dory Jackson for a one-year deal. That's going to be fine. $5 million for a Dory Jackson, sure. Who else is that? Byron Murphy. We don't really need that. What about running backs? I'd love that there was just an X factor sitting down here. There's not going to be. No. So I guess we're fine. And what about receiver? Ridgeway? No. I mean, we need somebody. So let's give CeeDee Lamb a one-year deal. Increase the money a little bit. 76 total points. with Pearson. What is this? Paris Campbell. You want to come on back? Sure. Abbott turned us down, but we did get a Dory Jackson, which is fine, but I really wanted Abbott. And then we got Paris Campbell. And what about the other receiver? Okay, Lamb turned us down. Let's go to the draft. So we have the 10th overall pick in the first round, and I kind of love Tyron Riddick because Okuda's getting up there in age, but then there was also this middle linebacker, Fletcher. Oh, late first. I didn't know that. What about Bennett? Early first. We did lose out on Abbott, but I feel like corner is going to be hurting more for our team after this year. Yeah, let's go Riddick. He's a 77 with normal, of course. 95 speed, 67 zone, 77, or 67, never mind. 67 man, 77 zone. Fletcher's still there. Let's take him. He's a 70 overall normal development, which is unfortunate. 83 speed, 83 tackles, 75 block shed, 81 hit power. In the third round, let's go Kai Strickland, outside linebacker. 68 normal development, 73 tackle, 69 hip power, 83 speed, 85 acceleration. So I put Lennon on the trade block, even though I'm not 100% sure I'm going to trade him. Like for a 2 and a 5, even though we had a superstar backing him up. Uh, this is going to be a tough decision. I think I'm going to send him away. I feel like we're very close to just blowing up this team. Because look at this right now. We're a 78 overall team. I think this is year like 12, 13, something like that. The offensive line is just not getting much better. The receivers are hurting. The running back. I mean, on defense, we're looking good. But even our free safety is an absolute beast. He's 28 years old. So it's just like, what do I do about this? We have McDonald. We have Medlin, who are young. And I think Lake and Everett are still 29. So it's like, I don't even know. And even Lake's 27 years old. We might be blowing up the team after this year. Let's go to the playoffs. We missed the playoffs yet again going 1-14-1. and one. Oh, yeah, we're blowing up this team. Bears 13-3, the Packers 10-6, and, and the Vikings 9-7. and seven. Durant 3,800 yards, 20-21. 20 Hubbard 445 with a touchdown. Washington 921 with five. Campbell 896 with two. Humphrey 744 with five. Is this what it feels like to be a Lions fan? Donnie, 131 tackles, 114 for Washington. Sack totals, 9.5 for Lake, 9 for Everett, 9 for Johnson, 7.5 for McDonald. Interceptions, 2 for Medlane, and a lot of ones to go around. Now for the Yuli Awards. Mitchell still kicking around with the MVP. No Lions do we have. There's Payne. Okay, he was on our team for sure. Nobody else. Coach of the Air, Matt Nagy. We're not going to be up there. Offensive player, nothing defensive player of the year, Sean Abbott. That is, oh, that's the guy we're going to pick up. He went to our rival. McDonald's up there at nine. Offensive rookie Richardson at three. Defensive rookie of the year, we have Strickland at seven. And Riddick, at, Riddick rather, at ten. We didn't draft anybody with hidden development, so really what am I going to look at here? Three for Durant. Okay. On defense, we have one for McDonald, two for Medlin, two for Washington, two for Bryant, two for Riddick. Gosh, I don't know, man. The Giants beat the Dolphins 31-7 to to win their second Super Bowl of this video. Now, I might let a lot of guys walk out the door. There's one, even though I might bring him back and trade him. Washington can go Okuda, Johnson, Donahue, Stuber. I mean, we're starting from scratch. I am telling you that right now. What does Everett want for a deal? 
277. If I could trade him away for that, that'll be fine. And I almost want to do the same thing for Washington, but yeah, four years just in case we can't trade him away. Everybody else can go, and I almost want to skip right over free agency, but if there is some stud offensive lineman or receiver or something with $102 million, I have to at least look. Washington, no. Sheldon, no. Fitzpatrick's up there. I don't think so. Running back. Osgood's up there. Ooh, Baker Mayfield's still kicking around. I think we're good. Let's just go to the draft. Now we have the first overall pick. You know we're trading that back. We can trade back to number four. Trade back till six. Yeah, six. Or five. I wish I knew what team. I guess it means the Titans are the worst. And I don't know if a first overall pick's going to change their team overnight, you know? So let's see what they were trading up to get. A middle linebacker in Spence. We definitely weren't going to do that. Corner and Spicer, who knows? I love my corners. And then Ben Shelby, the right end. I don't even want to look. If I could trade this back again, that's just what I'm going to do. I'm not trading to the Vikings, though. That was this year anyways. Uh, let's go with the Cleveland. No, that's this year. Let's go with... Why are these all 31s? I want 32. Right there, the Rams. There's a ton of great players still on the board. And I almost want to go Robert Barton, but I don't think I'm going to. Let's not make that mistake. Let's try to bolster the offensive line with Malcolm Beck. He's a 74 overall hidden development, all right? 91 strength, 76 run block, 83 pass block. At the end of the second round, we're going Sharon Marsh, who is not worth. So I put a lot of guys on the trade block, way more than this. I even put Duran up there, so I'm not sure why he's not there. Two and a five is leading it to five seven. That's in our own division, though. Two five five. Let's go two five and a five from the Giants. Get Lake out of here. Even though he was a solid player, he came out of nowhere. Not really nowhere. I took him. He was normal development, but you get what I'm saying. Eh, I don't really need a tight end. Any second round picks? Two seven seven two five six. Let's go to the Falcons. So we're going to have a lot of second round picks. I imagine most of those are next year, which is fine. We're definitely tanking this year. 35725. No first round picks. All right, well, we're not trading him to the Packers, so he can go to the Panthers. That's fine. So we're a 70 overall team, 69 offense, 73 defense. We have two hidden development offensive linemen, which is good. We still have Durant, who I just realized is 26 years old. Lennon was 23 when we traded him. Not the best idea, but it's done. What can you do? We have McDonald, Menlin, Washington, Bryan. Everyone else are bums. Let's go to the playoffs. I'm kind of hoping 0-16. Live up that Lions dynasty, you know? We didn't make the playoffs yet again. We went 4-11-1. The Packers did worse than us at 4-12. And, and we could have got a bunch of their picks. Vikings 10-6. The Bears 8-8. Eight eight. I forget exactly who we traded with. Definitely the Titans. But I don't remember the other one. Durant, 4,100 yards, 25 and 15. Meadows, 540 with four. Durant with three. Lawrence, 941 with seven. Marsh, 868 with six. Hayward at 752 with two. Humphrey with six. On defense, Washington, 107 tackles, 105 for Fletcher. Sack totals, 15 for McDonald. What a beast. Three for Washington, two and a half for Matthews. Interceptions, three for Riddick, two for Washington, two for Medlin. And a few ones to go around. Yili Awards. Mitchell, again, with another MVP. We're going to look back at him at the end of this video. He's going to be all over the records, all over the place. Payne's up there. He was on my team. Coach of the air, Sean McDermott. We wouldn't be up there. Offensive player, Mitchell. Hertz is up there. Payne, Berlin. Nothing from the Lions. Defensive player of the year, McDonald at two. Come on. Washington at eight. Offensive rookie, Meadow, Lawrence, Marsh, two, three, four. Defensive Rookie of the Year, we have Walters at 2, Douglas at 4, and that's going to be it. Now, we do have two hidden development offensive linemen, both star, 5 for Goldman, 5 for Beck. So, basically nothing, but we'll keep the right tackle for now. McDonald with 1, Medlin 2, Washington 2, Bryant with 1. Let's go find out who's going to win the Super Bowl. The Lumberjacks beat the Falcons 10-3. to That is their third Super Bowl championship of this video. How much would the Chargers love that in real life? Brian, we're going to bring back. Banks can go. 
I'm not worried about anybody else, though. So I definitely don't want Banks. But we'll bring back Bryant, then let's go to free agency just to poke around a little bit. Oh, you know, we just have $110 million in cap space. No big deal. Meadows, we don't want. Patrick Queen's up there. What is this? Colombo, no. Mitchell, not for that amount of points. We don't really have a quarterback we even want at the moment. So I kind of want to let anybody walk by, but we're going to make a play at Starkey. We can get him for four years. Might as well increase the money. We're not going to have to resign anybody for free year, uh, four years anyways. But we're going to have to make that a little bit higher, which is easy enough. Kyler Murray's still on the board as well. Let's go nine. Let's go 4.15, 52.4. I just want to make sure we get one of these guys. Spend our money just a little bit, you know? I mean, Tiller wouldn't be a bad idea, but I'm not really interested in that. Marcus Williams is still on the board, but I don't think so. Let's go find out. We got Starkey on the team. Let's go to the draft. Wow, we have three, five, and six. So there's no point in trading up. The Packers took a free safety. That's fine. And the Redskins took an offensive tackle. I'm looking if we could trade for two ones. And we definitely can. That's both the next. Oh, that's one this year. Okay. I mean, I think we just have to take that. Get as much capital as we can. The Falcons were just in the Super Bowl, so no. Let's trade with the Ravens. I think that'll make a ton of sense. They took a tight end. Interesting. And then the 49ers went with the right end. Now, we could keep trading. I'm not going to do that. I'm not trading with the Vikings. The Panthers would be interesting. But I want to take a look at the Heisman just in case. I'm trying to get all the capital we can. Defensive back Tanner Matlock. Which means he could also be a receiver. Where is he going to be? Matlock, Matlock, Matlock. He must be a receiver then. Actually, I guess he could be a strong safety or something. Not there. Free safety. There he is. Mid first. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to do that. All right, I'm going to take a look, uh, look around. And I'll show you who I'm going to take. Tyson McKnight. There were a few other players. We'll look at them in one second. But 81 overall hidden development. 95 speed, 75 man, 82 zone, 79 play rec. Look at all these great players. And I'm kind of leaning middle linebacker. Or maybe the left end. We already have a middle linebacker in Washington. So I think I'm going to go easily. He's a 77 overall with hidden development, rank 3. 71 power move, 84 finesse, 79 speed, 88 acceleration. Oh, Matlock is still on the board. Do I pass up on that potential X factor to go for a great quarterback? Don't get me wrong. I like the scheme fit. They're both scheme fit. We also have the sixth pick in the next round. I'm going to go Matlock because the quarterback might fall. And he's normal development. I mean, that just sums up how this rebuild is going so far, doesn't it? That is so disappointing. And now the quarterback's not going to be here. I can almost guarantee that. Yeah, he's gone. I, I mean, I knew that was going to happen. It's not a huge surprise. Let's go Josh Rutherford. He's a 77 with normal. 93 strength, 74 block shed, 80 power moves, 74 finesse. So there's still a corner here with first round talent, but Russell at the same time seems pretty good. But I don't really want to pass up on the first round talent. So let's take Frank Glass the corner. He's a 73 overall hidden development. So we're set at corner. 93 speed, 63 man, 76 zone, 70 play rack. Let's take another defensive tackle, Quinn Stewart. He's a 69 overall hidden development. 85 strength, 72 block shed, 77 power moves, 61 finesse. We are a 72 overall team with a 66 offense. It is so rough. We do have an 81 overall defense, which is good. Have some hidden development guys around the board. I mean, Riddick's up the star development as well. I almost want to put Glass at free safety, but I guess that doesn't make sense. But I think we're good to go. Do we put easily an outside linebacker? I don't know exactly. No, I know he's a speed rusher. I don't know if that would be the right move. Probably not. So let's just go to the playoffs. We didn't make the playoffs yet again. We went 6-10. and 10. That's fine. Bears 14-2, the Vikings 10-5-1, and, and the Packers 7-9. Durant 4,000 yards, 26-10. Just kind of meh. Meadows 640 with 8. Marsh 1,100 yards, 2 touchdowns. Buchanan 1,000 with 7. O'Neal 767 with 4. Perry 5, Meadows 4, Lawrence 3. On defense, Washington 113 tackles. 
Sack totals 13 for McDonald, 13 for Easley, 6 for Rutherford. Two rookies right there. Interceptions, 3 for Matlock, the rookie. 2 for Washington, Fletcher, Medlin. 1 for McKnight, 1 for Stout. I mean, we're going to have all kinds of people in Defensive Rookie of the Year. But Mitchell's still there with the MVPs, a 99 overall still. Hurts, number two. Coach of the Air, Matt Nagy. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, Mitchell. Nothing Defensive Player of the Year. McDonald, a 10. Offensive Rookie, Buchanan, a 2. And Gregory, a 10. Defensive Rookie of the Year, easily one. McKnight, two. Matlock, three. Rutherford, 6. Stewart, 7. Stout, 9. Just give me one X factor. That's all I'm asking for at this point. Durant with 2. Cochran, 3. Beck, Starkey with 1. Moment of truth. McKnight, superstar, 4 XP points. Easily star with 6. Stewart has 2. Star development. Rutherford with 2 as well. Glass with superstar. All right. I'll take that over an X factor. I mean... Somewhat. I mean, we'll take, we'll just take it. We'll be happy with what we have. Let's go find out who's going to win the Super Bowl. The Ravens beat the Bears 24 to 14. If the Bears won one, okay, they did one, but with that quarterback that's always winning MVP, it should be more than that, I would think. Medlin will bring back, Washington will bring back, Durant could go. So we have to find a quarterback. But do we still have over $100 million? Oh, yeah. $89 million in cap space. Joey Parker knows, Zachary Bailey knows, then again, could build up the offensive line really quickly, hope we get a quarterback, and then go from there. I feel like Joey Bain would be a little bit better for that, though. Let's go three years. Let's up it a little bit, because like I said, we have so much money, we don't have to sign anybody for a few years, so that's fine. I want some younger guys, not that young. Yes, it was 34 years old, I understand. Bill Barker, we don't need. Durant's getting a ton. That's really not that many points, actually. Jalen Hurts is there. I'd love to bring him in. How is he winning or coming second in MVP, at least, as an 80 overall? How loaded are the Vikings? I feel like no one's ever said that. Anton Wilkerson, if we can put him over to guard, that's what I'm going to do. But I want to get a superstar guy on the offensive line. That's going to be way too much. That's all right, though. I want to make sure we get these guys on the team, work with them and all that. And let's bring in Deshaun Watson on a one-year deal. Just in case we can't find a quarterback. If we, like, if we can't, then we'll just cut him, you know? Or if we can, rather, then we'll just cut him. I think we'll bring in Dunn for a one-year deal. I'll increase the money a little bit just to make it worth his while. 95 total points. Wilkerson turned us down and Bain turned us down. So much for changing the offensive line really quickly. I, I'm at a loss for words. Let's go to the draft, I guess. So the Heisman went to a receiver, Josh Terrell. And we also have the 32nd overall pick. Is Terrell off the board? Oh, he's a corner. So he is gone. We wouldn't have taken him anyways. Even though I would like to swap him one time. I was I told that in the comments, I believe, that you could do that. I don't know if it works, but I was definitely told that. Let's get Jonathan McAllister. Let's not miss out on a quarterback. 73 overall, hidden development. 89 throw power, 82 deep back C, 82 medium, 86 short. So in the second round, we have 8, 15, 27, and 24. So which of these guys are going to fall? I feel like Springs, I just want to get him right now. Unless one of these guys are early, late. What about the running back, late? The tight end? He's late as well. What about Penn? Late. All right, so I'm going to go the outside linebacker first. He's a 70 overall normal development, 75 tackles, 69 hit power, 84 speed, 84 acceleration. Everybody else is gone, basically. So I'm going to go with the guard. 70 overall hidden development. I love that. 89 strength, 67 run block, 78 pass block. All right, the tight end's still there. Let's take him then. He's a 72 in normal development. 70 speed, 66 catching, 70 run block, 66 awareness. In the second round, we're going to take Solomon Robertson. He's a 68 overall normal development, 91 speed, 87 acceleration, 72 catching, 76 catch and trap. The first thing we have to do is cut Deshaun Watson. Not going to put him on the trade block or anything. We will take a little bit of a penalty, but it's not the end of the world. So we have a 77 overall team, 73 offense. I don't know why I keep switching back, but 83 defense. I kind of want to trade Riddick or Bryant. Actually, let's give this an auto align. And Easley's up the superstar development, which is awesome. I thought Matlock might get a development up, but I guess not. 
Riddick is 24, and Brian is probably 27? Yeah, let's put him on the trade block, see if we can get anything for him. Let's see what we can get for Brian. 256, 256, a lot of two. Oh, 246. And a 2-4 and a 7. Let's take the Eagles offer. Will you look at that? We made the playoffs at 8-8. Eight eight. We'll play against the 9-5-2 Giants. The Bears 13-3. They're going to be in our way the whole time. Packers 6-10 and, and the Vikings 5-10-1. and one. The Cows, they're about 4,000 yards, 23-15. and 15, Not bad for a rookie. Dunn 7-34 with 4. Meadows with 5. Receiving Buchanan at 1,000 with 4, Marsh 802 with 5, Robertson 716 with 3, 6 for Boosie. On defense, Washington 118 tackles, 101 for Fletcher. Sack totals 13 for McDonald, 12 for Easley, 5 for Rutherford. Interceptions 5 for Medlin, and a lot of ones to go around. Is that guy going to win MVP again? No, but Mitch Payne is because why not? Mitchell at number 2. No Lions, Coach of the Year, Nathan Cable. We could be up here. We're not, but we could have been. Offensive player, nothing. Defensive player of the year, McDonald at two. Easily at seven. I just want somebody to win an award. McAllister, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Our tight end, our receiver, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Springs at seven. And that's going to be it. Let's cross our fingers. Superstar or X-Factor for quarterback. Yes, it is the X Factor. That's exactly what I wanted. This is the last year I'm recording for this batch, so I love it. Penn has Superstar 7 XP. Awesome. That is a perfect, perfect thing to happen. We have two for McKnight, three for Glass, four for Easley. I mean, McDonald's a 99 overall. This is great. Let's upgrade the team, see if we can beat the Giants. Can we beat the 9-5-2 New York Giants, make it to the next round? No, we got dominated, 41-14. to Let's take a look. Let's take a peek. Ah, do I know who their quarterback is? It's not going to be. Oh, it's still Mahomes. Oh, McAllister. No, just pretend that didn't happen. Done 57 yards, touchdown for Irwin, McAllister, two for Orr, one for Meadows. Receiving Addison 114, 90 for Buchanan, 56 for Turk, and a touchdown for Irwin. The Lumberjacks beat the Eagles 24 to 21. Very interesting. I believe that's the Chargers' fifth. It, it, no, that's their fourth. Keeping up with the Ravens. Riddick's is coming back. Done. I guess Fletcher will bring back. Strickland will bring back. And I imagine we still have a ton of money. Oh, yeah. I haven't recorded in about a week or so, so just in case, the Chargers did beat the Eagles. I think I recorded that, but I'm not 100% sure. We have $70 million in cap space. We have some work to do on offense. Let's take a quick look. We have to get a right guard. We have to get a center, a tight end. Definitely some receivers, but that's right. We have McAllister with the superstar X Factor. We need a free safety. We need a right end. And I would say maybe an outside linebacker, but it's not really a huge deal. So let's hop into free agency. So you can find a one or two receivers, realistically. McBride, 29. No. Parker at center. Not the worst idea if we can give him like a one-year deal. Yeah, 16.2. It's $61 million left after that. Not a big deal. We also need a running back pretty badly, correct? Yes, we do. We can draft one, though. Not the end of the world. We let Dunn walk away. Is there going to be, like, I don't really want to bring in an offensive lineman with normal development. I, I guess it's better than what I have, but I don't want to give him long term. So let's go one, let's go seven, 3.28. 76 points isn't bad. Flanagan, no. Washington, was Washington on our team? I feel like he was. I'm going to give him a one-year offer just in case. A lot of normal development guys. I don't like seeing that. McAllister, I'll give him a one-year deal. Same thing. Just bring a guy in for a year. See if we can make a run at the playoffs. Run at the Super Bowl. But yeah, like, I, I don't know. I don't want that. There's nothing really worth anything here. Look at all these noble development guys. Is there maybe a sneaky, like, X-Factor running back down here? There's not. So I guess we're good to go. Let's advance the week. See if we can get our guys. And then we'll go to the draft. I just... I really don't know what to do. We got McAllister. We got Lucas. I definitely made a few more offers than that. We got Parker. We got Washington. That's good. Let's go to the draft. So we have some options. I kind of like the 6'9 left tackling. Capers. First in the bench press. But we need a receiver pretty badly. 
first of the 40-yard dash. Let's take Amari Hall. He's a 72 overall with hidden development. Awesome. 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 80 catching, 72 catch of traffic. There's nothing left on the draft board. That's so unfortunate. Because, like, I do I just go with the receiver and route? Do we take a guard, which we definitely need? Seventh of the reps, though. I don't love that. Another corner I don't love. There was one more guard down here, right here. But I don't think second in the bench press. Let's take him. Jacob Capo Banco Bianco? I, I have no idea. He's a 69 with normal development. 86 strength, 64 run block, 77 pass block. This just isn't a deep draft class. So they drafted a hidden development end for us, but we're not going to have him start, which will be fine. We're an 81 overall team, 80 offense, 84 defense. I think with McAllister, with Superstar X Factor, we're moving in the right direction. So let's go to the playoffs. We didn't make the playoffs. We went 5-11. and 11. That's unfortunate. The Bears 9-7, and seven, Packers 8-8, eight and, eight, and the Vikings 7-9. and nine. McAllister, 4,200 yards, 30 and 10. Awesome year. Meadows, 622, or 624, rather, with two. Not great. Amari Hall, 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns for the rookie. All right. Washington, almost 1,100 yards, four touchdowns, four for Marsh, seven for Boosie. On defense, Riddick, 105 tackles, 103 for Washington, 101 for Fletcher. Interceptions, 12 and a half for McDonald, 12 for Easley, five for Douglas. Interceptions, three for Matlock, three for Reddick, two for Medlin, and a lot of ones to go around. Now, let's go take a look at the awards. Gary Harold with the MVP. We are nowhere to be found. Coach of the Air, Matt LaFleur. Interesting. Nothing. I don't know why we'd be up there. Offensive player, we have McAllister at six. Defensive player, probably nothing. Offensive rookie, Hall. We knew that. Sheffield at four. Defensive rookie of the year. Nothing. Now, I put McAllister back in the weekly training, so he has four XP points. That's good. Oh, Hall with the superstar with 10. All right. He might get development up as well. Three for Penn is pretty good as well. Then on defense, what do we have? Holiday, seven with star development. Awesome. Other than that, two for McKnight, two for Glass. I mean, nothing too crazy. The Giants beat the Jets 20 to 17. I believe that's their second of the video. Maybe three. Beck, we're going to bring back. Parker could go. Lucas, maybe a one-year deal. Marshall bring back. Could be our number three guy. McAllister can go. Everyone else I'm not too worried about. So we have $56.25 million in cap space. That corner looks pretty good, but all our corners are young, so we don't have to do that. Vines would be interesting, but not for 98 points. Free safety, no. Left tackle, no. That right end seems pretty good. And Zach Brock, 95 points to beat off the Cowboys? Let's go up to 8. Let's go up to 6.6. 58.2 million. 101 beats the Cowboys by 6. Gabriel, no. Lucas, no. Fitzgerald, 96 points. Are those like the Tigers or something? Something random like that. Let's go 9.5. Let's go 4.5. 98 total points. Beats them by 2. I kind of want to increase that a little bit. Let's go up to 10. And let's go to 4.8. 73.8 million. Beats it by what? Four now? Oh, no. Six now. They beat ours by four. Anything else that's really worth it? David said if I can get it for a little bit cheaper, but we can't. I mean, we do need a center. I'll keep bringing these guys back for one-year deals until we can find somebody in the draft. Or maybe a younger guy in free agency. Potter for two years. 49 points for the Raiders is basically nothing. Oh, yeah. That's going to dominate. All right. We're good. We got Finnegan. We got turned down by Fitzgerald. But we got Brock and we got Potter. Great. Let's go to the draft. So we have the fourth overall pick. This is a guy that won the Heisman outside linebacker Drayton. We're not going to do that. And what I really want to do is take one of these receivers, not the fastest guy in the world, McMillan. No. What about Manning? Oh, first of the 40-yard dash. We do need help a receiver. Let's put him on the board for now because we could go walk its tight end. Don't really want to do that, but we could. We're fine at defensive end. We're fine at corner. I think it just makes the most sense if we take that receiver. Delonte Manning. Let's take him. 75 overall, hidden development, ranked 8th. That's fine. 
95 speed, 90 acceleration, 77 catching, 77 catch a trap. So in the second round, there's four guys still left on the board with first round talent. And I almost want to go quarterback, even though it makes no sense. So I think we might have to go Newhouse, the running back, second in the 40-yard dash. He's a 70 overall hit in development, 65 break tackle, 94 speed, 91 acceleration, 90 agility. That's right. We have two second round picks. I really do want to take that quarterback. It just doesn't make sense. So let's go Tyson Hughes. He's a 71 normal development. 62 power moves, 79 finesse, 83 speed, 81 acceleration. Ooh, Hall did get a development up. He's up to an 85 overall. Awesome. We still need a right guard. We still need a tight end, I would say. We're fine a receiver now. Then on defense, Brock with superstar, corners with superstar, easily X-Factor. We are in great, great shape right now. Let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoffs with the wild card spot at 10, 5, and 1 while playing against the 9 and 7 Bucks. The Bears 11 to 5. That's a big problem. Packers 7 to 9 and the Vikings 3, 12, and 1. McAllister, what happened? 3,600 yards, 27 and 8. A big drop off in yards. Rushing Newhouse 878, 11 touchdowns. Awesome for the rookie. Hall 904 with 8, Robertson 791 with 7, Marsh 680 with 3, Boosie with 6, Manning 109, not great. On defense, Washington 110 tackles, sack totals 11.5 for McDonald, 8.5 for Easley, 8 for Brock, 8 for Rutherford. Interceptions, 3 for Riddick, 2 for McDonald and Matlock, 1 for Washington, 1 for Potter. Now for the Yilly Awards. Weary with the MVP, Mitchell still kicking around. How is that possible? I feel like he's been around, I guess, maybe 15 years, 16 years, something like that. No Lions, Coach of the Year, we are at number seven. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, McAllister at five. Defensive Player of the Year, probably nothing. Offensive Rookie, Newhouse at one. Dillard at three. Manning at nine. And Defensive Rookie of the Year, we have Hughes at seven. And that's going to be it. I just want Newhouse or Hall. Not even Hall. Manning, rather. Yes, Newhouse with Superstar 7 XP points. Manning 5, so that's probably star development. What about on defense? Two for Brock, two for Easley, one for Riddick. Potter has one. What about Glass? He has two, one for McKnight. All right, let's upgrade the team. See if we can win our game. Can we beat the 9-7 and seven Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I guess not. We lost 36 to 14. We're not going to know any of the players, but let's see how our guys did. Because you know, I'll pull the, you know, I'll pull them off, pull the curtain out. I don't know what the word is, what the saying is. Can't really think of it. But Britton, he are not rather long, 248 with two. McAllister, one and one. That's not great. Newhouse, 31 yards. Hall, 74. Touchdown for Manning. The rookie is good, I suppose. The Ravens have won their fifth Super Bowl of this video, beating the Giants, who have three themselves. So, kind of some domination going on right now. Easley's definitely coming on back. McKnight's coming on back. More than the punter, not too concerned about. Starkey, no. Rutherford, no. Glass will come back. Matlock's going to come back. Finnegan could go. Stewart could definitely go. I imagine we still have a ton of money. Oh, yeah. So we only have $17 million in cap space. I don't know. Okay, Russell's there. I was going to say, I don't know if there's anybody I'm going to definitely want to bring in, but I think we found our guy. Eh, yeah, these are a lot of older superstar X factors. Not concerned about a free safety. Same thing. Ingram is interesting, but it doesn't really make sense for our team. Let's bring in Russell. 95 points from the Seahawks we have to beat. So let's go up to 15. Let's go up to $6 million, $105 million? Okay, I guess that's not what we're doing. I don't get it. Am I going to be able to increase this at all? Or is this just going to be long and complicated? That's tied with the Seahawks now, so we're getting a little bit closer. hey oh, we finally beat them out. And he turned us down. How insulting. We're just going to go to the draft. Look at this corner. Irvin Bishop. We don't need a corner, but that looks so good. I hate that Sutton's late first. And I almost want to go Buchanan, but that doesn't make sense. I have to go Bishop. I just have to. He's a 75 with hidden development. 
91 speed, 66 man, 79 zone, 73 play rack. Our offensive line is hurting big time right now. I don't like seeing that whatsoever. We're going to have to address that this upcoming offseason. And do we have to pay McAllister? We are going to have to after the season. That's unfortunate. So we have an 82 overall team, 81 offense, 84 defense. Everything seems pretty good. I want to see how old is Riddick? 27? I'm going to put him on the trade block, and I'm going to put Potter on the trade block. Even though I think Potter has one year left, so I can't imagine, I mean, anybody's going to take him. But let's just check just in case. Ooh, we got offers for both of them. Let's check Riddick first. We can get a 2 and a 5, 2, 5, 6. Any ones, I doubt it. No, so we're the Lions. So if we trade him to the Bills, I mean, I'd rather get the, yeah, 2, 5, and a 6 from the Titans. And then I also might trade away Potter. We have our two superstar guys. This is a really great offer, so I guess we're going to hold on. We didn't make the playoffs. I don't get how we go from making the playoffs to missing it to making it to missing it. It doesn't make sense. We went 8-8 eight eight because the Bears are going off at 14-2. The Packers and the Vikings, 5-11. and McAllister, 3,800 yards, 32-11. and Great year. Newell's, 821 with 4, 5 for Dillard. Receiving Hall, 1,000 with 8. Manning, 889 with 7. Marsh, 716 with 6. 4 for Boosie. On defense, Washington, 113 tackles. Sack total, 16 for Easley. Awesome. 9.5 for Brock, 7.5 for Holiday. Interceptions, 4 for Medlin, 2 for Washington, 2 for Glass. Where's the rookie Bishop? 18 tackles, 1 interception. Not bad. I don't think it's good enough for defensive rookie of the year. But I could hope. Carl Winters with the MVP. Mitchell still kicking around for some reason. No Lions. Coach near Nathan Cable. Interesting name. Offensive player Mitchell McAllister at four. Defensive player of the year easily at the f or an end rather winning. You almost never see that. I could be wrong. Offensive rookie, nothing. I'm talking about in the game. I know Aaron Donald does all the time in real life. Defensive rookie of the year. Bishop at four. And Wood at 10. So McAllister has two XP. Same for Newhouse. Same for Hall. So McAllister and Hall will be 90 overalls. Penn has two. Let's see about our, our corner Bishop. Star development, four XP points. Not bad. Because we're going to lose Potter. Not a huge deal. Two for easily, one for Brock. The Raiders dominated the Bears 27-7. And here comes the big money contract for McAllister. I think this is the one we're going to hold on to. Seven years is a lot. I'll make him the offer, though. I mean, how, how would he pass that up? McDonald can go. Penn, I have to bring back at this point. He's our only good offensive lineman. So let's go 9-5, 2.82. That's good. Boosie could go. Potter could go. Everybody else could go. But I wonder, when we go to free agency, should I just keep the money? You keep the money, you know? Or just like, I mean, no $14 million isn't a ton of money. Man, a lot of older guys. Strong safety we could use, but I don't think so. Yeah, a lot of these guys are just up there in age. I mean, Kennard wouldn't be bad, if we're being fair. 95 points. Let's go 6. Let's go 2.5. 33.8. That'll beat them. I, I just hate seeing all the normal developments after normal developments. I feel like the actual roster is a lot more mixture. I'm just saying, let's advance the week, see if we get our guy, which I imagine we will. We will. Good, good, good. The worst part is we have the 14th overall pick. Either make the playoffs or do really bad. Detroit, you're usually good at that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm building a good team. It's just not good enough. I'm not sure. I mean, Vernon does not look that bad. We're fine at right end, but once again, that guy looks like a beast. I feel like we have to go offensive lineman. I think we're going to go Brock Downey, but I do want to just check around just in case. Because Sessions doesn't seem that bad, but I don't think that's going to be the answer. Harrison lay first. We could wait on that. How many second round picks? Just one. A free safety, an end. Ooh, what is this? Yup, Jeffrey Nowak. He's a 76 overall with hidden development, ranked two. 90 strength, 77 run block, 80 pass block. Look at these middle linebackers that fell to the second round. I have to go Darian Lockhart. He's a 75 with normal. 85 speed, 83 tackle, 75 block shed, 82 hit power. And then the last guy left on our board is our right guard, Conrad Eckert. Or Eckert? 
That might be it. 70 overall normal development. Oh, 84 strength, 75 run block, 76 pass. So we have an 81 overall team, 83 offense, 80 defense. The offensive line still needs a lot of help, in my opinion. We need a tight end, but then we're good. Then on defense, outside linebacker. I want to put Medlin on the trade block because he's 30 years old, but we don't have a solid backup at the moment. I guess we I don't really want to put Bishop up there, but Brock is up the superstar X factor. All right, let's go see if we can get anything for Medlin. For an 83 overall, I imagine something halfway decent. 277, 257. Let's go 257 from the Colts. And we didn't make the playoffs yet again. We went 8-8 eight eight again. The Bears 10-5-1, the Vikings 5-9-2, and the Packers 5-11. We should be doing way better than this. McAllister, 4,000 yards, 24-9. Why did I sign you? Newhouse, 875 with 7. McAllister, 6. Dillard with 4. Receiving Marsh, 1,000 with 7. Hall, 834 with 3. Wimbley, 816 with 3. 6 for Manning. On defense, Washington, 120 tackles. Sack totals, 15.5 for Easley. 6 for Holiday, 4 for Brock. Interceptions, two for Washington, one for Bishop, one for McKnight. I am so going to regret keeping McAllister, even though he's X-Factor. Kitchen, I think that's how you'd say that, MVP. Is that Mitchell again, by the way? It is. He's an 83 overall, just basically winning it every year. McAllister, seven. Coach the year, Jimmy Bauman. NFC offensive player, McAllister, he's coming for you, Mitchell. Defensive player of the year, Washington at two. Nothing else. Offensive rookie. Nothing defensive rookie. We have Hill at four. We have Underwood at seven. The Chiefs finally won another Super Bowl in Super Bowl 72, beating the Falcons 21 to seven. And I have no idea who's going to be here. Ooh, Hall's going to be there. He's coming back. Washington can go. Holiday. I almost just want to let him go because we're fine at the end. I mean, what do we have for money? That's going to matter a lot. Yeah, we don't have much, so I'm going to let... What was it? I don't even remember what his name was, to be honest. But we're going to let him walk out the door at the end. Okay, Hall came back. Wh what was it? Holiday, that's right. Unless he'll work for nothing, which he will not. So goodbye, so long. So we have $12 million, and we need help at linebacker big time right now. Don't really need offensive lineman. I mean, we do, but not a 33-year-old one. That doesn't make sense for our team. I don't think we're going to find anything. That's just the vibe I'm getting right now. So I might bring in two offensive linemen that are up there in age, but we can get it for somewhat cheap money. Slot them right there. And I, I think I think that'll make a lot of sense if we pull back right here. That's going to be 65 total points. So let's go back to the top guy, Tanner, who's a 90 overall. So you can, in theory, you can get two years out of him. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Ugh. I think I'm going to cut some money, a little bit of money. So I opened up $1.6 million. So we have $6 million to work with. What if we extend him to two? And maybe that'll entice him a little bit more. It's really not going to. How much you want to bet they turn both of them turn us down? That's almost a slam dunk guarantee right here. Okay, we got Caldwell. What about the other guy? I want Tanner a little bit more. I'm just saying. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. Let's go to the draft. So we really need one offensive lineman. So I'm kind of leaning Bagley, but we could use an outside linebacker. But it says late first. I hate that. And early first, I got to go Bagley. He's a 76 with normal development, which is unfortunate. But 91 strength, 73 run block, 86 pass block. I was hoping one of these tight ends would still be on the board, but I didn't expect the middle linebacker to still be here. First of the 43 cone and the 20 yard. I have to take it. Plus we have two second round picks. So I'm going to go Ward first, 70 with normal development, 86 speed, 77 tackles, 68 block shed, 76 hit power. Let's see how unlucky I really am, shall we? Oh, they're both there. I'm going to go with Thompson. He's a scheme fit. 70 overall hidden development, 80 speed, 73 catching, 64 run block, 65 awareness. Ooh, the other tight end's still there. Curtis Lippitt. Let's take him. 75 normal. Not bad. Rank 10th. 72 speed, 65 catching, 73 run block, 66 awareness. Now, there's where the problem's going to be. Thompson is under him because a lower overall, but it'll be a starting fullback. So I'm hoping he gets a ton of XP that way. But we need still like we need so much help at outside linebacker. And strong safety. Why is Bishop starting there? That doesn't make sense. 
But let's go to the playoffs. Ooh, I just upgraded my team by accident. Whoops. But we made the playoffs at 11-5. We're going against the 9-6-1 Eagles. Bears 6-10, Packers 6-10, and, and the Vikings 3-13. Is Mitchell going to still be running, you know, the Chicago Bears? McAllister, 4,100 yards, 31-3. I hope that's MVP. Newhouse, 1,100 yards with a touchdown, 10 for Dillard. Receiving Marsh, 1,000 with 10. Hall, 889 with 3. Manning, 782 with 6. 4 for Lippe. 2 for Thompson on defense. Kennard, 129 tackles. Sack totals, 13.5 for Brock, 10 for Easley, 4.5 for Lockhart. Interceptions, 3 for Stecker, 2 for Kennard, 2 for Broughton. And that's going to be it. Now for the yearly awards. Barton with the MVP. McAllister for Mitchell, leaving the Bears. Oh, Coach of the Year, Gove. We are at number five. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, McAllister at two. Defensive Player of the Year, Kennard at three. Offensive Rookie, we have Lippitt at five. We have Thompson at nine. And Defensive Rookie of the Year, we have nothing. What do we have for XP? Thompson has star development. Oh, that's right. I already gave him the XP points. We had five. It was three for Lippitt. McAllister, 94. Hall, 93. Bagley had four, which isn't bad, up to an 80 overall. Then on defense, nothing really. I feel like eventually we should trade easily away. He's 27 years old, though, so we don't have to do that for a year or two. But a lot of work to do with the outside linebacker position. But everything else is basically set. So let's see. Can we beat the 9-6-1 Philadelphia Eagles? Make it to the next round. We can. Finally. Can we beat the 12-4 Carolina Panthers? Sure can. Now the big question, can we win or not win? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Go to the Super Bowl. I jinxed it. You know I jinxed it. Let's go find out who's going to win. So many teams in this video are just winning multiple Super Bowls. That's the Texans second, beating the Saints 34-31. to Now what do we have to deal with and how much money do we have? Brock, you can go. Glass can go. Manning's coming back. Newhouse is coming back. Marsh can go. Hughes, I don't need. Diller, I definitely don't need. What do we have for money? 37.9. That's all right. Not as much as I would want, though. So I'm going to have to franchise tag Newhouse, which I guess is all right. I don't like paying my running backs big money, so that's all right. We have 24.73 million. We need a ton of help in linebacker, like I've been saying. Kerr, we don't need. We do need an end now, which is all right. Dixon doesn't really make sense. Cody could use a tackle that we move to guard, possibly. Spain, I want to bring him in on a one-year deal. Let's go here like that. 72 total points. That's fine. Just a lot of mediocre guys, and I hate it. Another corner. Once again, I'll bring in anybody for a one-year deal that wants to play for my team. Even if you'll make it better a little bit. Presley, rather bring you in the Spicer, to be honest. But we just lost glass, so I think that'll work out perfectly. A lot of great corners. This has been like a draft-heavy corner like video. I don't know. I think we're good. We got Presley. We got Spicer in Spain. That's awesome. So we need a defensive end, an outside linebacker. You can argue a safety, but not really too concerned about that. The 29th overall pick. I, like, I feel like our team's doing so well, but really they're not. And it's so unfortunate. We do have two second-round picks, though, which is good. What is going to be left on this board? There is a tackle which you could definitely use. We lost our guard. Another tackle. Ooh, what is Bullard? Late first. What is going on in all these late first guys? I don't want them. All right, we're picking between the offensive linemen. I think the 6'5 guy is going to take it. Yeah, John Fitzgerald. 76 overall hidden development. 92 strength, 75 run block, 78 pass. All right, Bullard's still there. Let's take him. He's a 71 with normal development. Not great. 75 tackles, 77 hit power, 82 speed, 83 acceleration. Let's go with Johnson, the defensive tackle. He's a 70 overall normal development. 90 strength, 71 block shed, 73 power moves, 64 finesse. So we have an 82 overall team, 85 offense, 80 defense. I'm loving the way the offensive line is looking now, but Penn is getting up there in age. And on defense, we're looking good. How old is Easley? Probably 28 now. I'm going to put him on the trade block just to see maybe somebody's crazy, wants to give me a first-round pick. And if so, I don't know if he's all theirs, 
but I'm definitely leaning that way. Let's find out. I mean, for a 97 overall, 28 years old, they kind of have to offer me a first, right? I guess not. To the playoffs. So we made the playoffs and got a first round bye, but we got beat by the Giants 40 to 10 in week 17. Don't love that. We went 10 and 6. Bears and Vikings 7, 7, and 2, and the Packers 3 and 13. McAllister about 4,000 yards, 25 and 14. Newhouse 950 with 6. McAllister 7, Sims 4. Receiving Hall 952 with 8. Simpkins. Simpkins. Huh. 792 with 5. Interesting name. Lippitt 723 with 6. Manning 3, 1 for Newhouse. On defense, Kennedy 100 tackles. Sack totals 14.5 for Easley, 6.5 for Spain, 5.5 for Lockhart. Interceptions 3 for Bishop and a lot of ones. Now for the yearly awards. Douglas with the MVP. Kitchen's up there. We could have taken him as well. McAllister at 9. No Mitchell. Interesting. Coach of the Year we're at 3. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. I feel like Payne was definitely on our team at some point. Fine's always up there. Every single time. Bears quarterbacks, of course. McAllister at 6. Defensive Player of the Year. We have Easley at 8. Offensive Rookie. Nothing. Defensive Rookie. Johnson at 4. Witherspoon at 5. And Bullard at 9. What do we have for XP? We have 4 for Fitzgerald with star development up to an 81 overall. Bagley will be an 82. Nowak will be an 84. They're all very young. I believe Beck's the oldest one. No, 29. Hold this pen. He might be 28. He could be 29 as well. 28. Okay. So we might trade both of them after this season, even though Beck's probably a free agent. But nothing really else on offense, on defense. Bullard three, Johnson four, Witherspoon with four. But that's going to be it. Can we beat the nine and seven Arizona Cardinals, make it to the NFC Championship? We can. And can we beat the Panthers? We beat them last year. Did we beat them this year? Yes, let's hop in. And away we go. Can we beat the 10 and 6 Oakland Raiders? We're up 3 to nothing. Really, you're going to get downfield and do that. 10 to nothing, 10 to 7. It's about to be halftime. Is anybody going to put up any more points? I guess not. 10 to 7 at halftime. 14 to 10 Raiders. We are so going to lose. I have a bad, bad feeling about this. Just score one more time. I wait, what? This must be the most embarrassing Super Bowl of all time. 10 points. McAllister, I don't know if you've heard. I'm just saying, you're on thin ice. 340 with a touchdown. We Two interceptions, we still lost. Arkin, 115 with a touchdown. Newhouse, 38. Simpkin, or Simpkin, 86 yards. Touchdown for Hall, touchdown for Arkin. And I guess that's it. It's really unfortunate. I should mention, that's the Raiders' third Super Bowl of this video. And we haven't won one. I'm going to give you a quick update. Ravens 5, Chargers 4, the Giants and the Raiders 3, the Texans 2, one for the Colts, Bears, and the Chiefs. Kind of crazy. Yeah, Beck's going to be gone. Matt Luck's going to be gone. Bishop's going to come back. Cohen's going to come back. And I guess Street? We do have a good amount. Oh, I could pay him basically nothing, right? All right, that's good. We'll bring back the other guys, then we'll go to free agents. So I let Newhouse walk out the door. He was 28 years old. Just didn't make sense to me. We could bring in Bagley's brother. I don't think we're going to do that, but we could. Newman would not be a bad idea because we're going to lose easily. We already lost our other end. Mitchell's up there who I definitely want to bring in for a one-year deal. Definitely not three years. I'll pay you a little bit more money to make it worth your while, though. 77 points. Let's make a play in Newman. 99 points by the Raiders, who, got to be honest, we need to take them down. Even though I'm sure we won't make the playoffs next year. Is this really what you're going to do? I hate this game sometimes. Uh, let's go down here. 5 10 2, 5 oh, 9. So he's not coming to our team. Basically, what you want to say. Other than that, Buchanan would not be bad, but I don't think we're going to get him realistically. All right, maybe we can. We got Buchanan. But what about, um? I don't know what his name was, to be honest. Mitchell, turn us down. Let's go to the draft. I really, really want to trade McAllister. I'm sure you guys know that if you watched any of my 30-year rebuilds, but let's see. I mean, we could go Cheney if we wanted to. What else is going to be on the board? A center? No. A receiver would not be bad. Six in the 40-yard dash. What about Mitchell? 
Late first, second to the 40, though, that's not bad. So our option, quarterback, defensive, to any second-round picks, just one. I'm going to go with Glover. He's a 74 in normal somehow. 91 speed, 88 acceleration, 77 catching, 84 catch of traffic. In the second round, I'm going Tevin Bibbs, no combine report. 70 with normal. 90 speed, 76 zone, 68 tackles, 76 pursuit. So I put easily and pen on the trade block because I feel like we're getting up there in age again. And we might have to make another transition, but I don't want it. Like, I'd rather just hold on to pen. Maybe bring him back after this year. And let's see Easley again, who's 29 years old, still has X Factor, 2 and a 6. I'm going to ship him off to Buffalo. I'm sure I'll regret that. But what do we have for a team? 82 overall, 88 offense, 75 defense. I mean, our offensive line looks awesome. Our receivers, everything along with that. And then on defense, it just hurts basically all around, except Kennard McKnight, who I almost want to put on the trade block as well, who I'm going to put on the trade block. That kind of, he, like, he has to get us a first-round pick, No. Let's see what are the offers for McKnight. 357. What is going on right now? I guess we're gonna hold on to him and go to the draft. And by the draft, I mean the playoffs. I could talk. We made the playoffs at nine and seven. We get to be one and done because we're going against the Giants, who are ten and six. Packers seven and nine. The Bears five, ten and one, and the Vikings five and eleven. McAllister, 44 yards, 39 and 8. I mean, I love it, but he's going to let us down. Buchanan, 836 with three. McAllister, three. Sims, two. Glover, 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns for a rookie. So that's a development up. Hall, 999 with seven. Manning, 717 with nine. Two for Buchanan, three for Lippitt. On defense, Kendrick, 152 tackles. I almost thought about trading him away. Lockhart, 115. Sack total, seven for Hill, five for Kendrick, five for Woods, three for Johnson interceptions a lot of ones to go around I do wonder at what point do we just cut and run for McAllister even though he's at number three coach of the year why not up there NFC offensive player of the year McAllister is going to take it home defensive player of the year Kenner is going to take it home offensive rookie Glover at two defensive rookie Bibbs at four and that's going to be it for XP Bagley has three Fitzgerald two Nowak two Thompson has one what about Glover? He has six. That's awesome. On defense, nothing. We are going to have to go on quite the run. Can we beat the Giants? We can. Can we beat the Cardinals? Oh, come on. 39 to 18. This is almost not worth you know, looking at, but I'm sure I'm going to see what happened to McAllister. And we're going to send him out the door after this season. I can almost guarantee that. 225, 1 and 1. Fine had four touchdowns. Buchanan with one. Manning 96. One for Brian, two for Peralta, one for Lippitt, one for Marsh, who was definitely on our team at one point. The Texans with their third Super Bowl, beating the Cowboys 24 to 14. This is incredible. McKnight, goodbye. Penn, I'm going to try to bring back. Kenner, I guess goodbye. No X coming back. Lockhart's coming back. Eckert, no, I don't think so. I mean, what do we have for money? $73 million, that is a good amount. So we have $51 million in cap space. McKnight's up there, we knew that. Kennard, Copeland, the free safety. Now that's something, I, we have Rodriguez with star development. We knew we need a strong safety. So I'm going to make a play. 101 points by the Bucks. Let's go five. Let's go six, five. And then up to a $4 million signing bonus. $52.3 million. 113 dominates. Oh, Jay Wilhite. Just when I thought I might blow up the team, I think we're going to stick with McAllister. It's going to hurt me. I'm going to regret it a little bit later on. But for now, we'll have a fun time. We do have two young tight ends, but I want to get younger. I want to get better development. So let's go with that. Beats the Browns by one. Um, I'd say we're fine in the offensive line. What is this? Defensive tackle Kerr? Why not? What else is down here that we could throw on the team? Nothing is grabbing my attention, so we should be good. Jones turned us down, but we got Copeland, we got Kerr, we got Wilhite. 
That's fine. Let's go to the draft. I wonder why he turned us down. So with the 25th overall pick, I'm not exactly sure what to do. We could go offensive lineman. Doesn't really make a ton of sense. We could go McDougal. Doesn't make a ton of sense. We did lose our tackle. So let's see. Roberts. Roberts is early first. So let's go with him. He's a 78 with normal development, of course. 93 strength, 79 run block, 79 pass block. There is nothing left on the draft board in the second round. I'm going to take a gamble. <laughs> what a terrible joke. Why did I do that? It, was it just for the jokes? Probably. Was it worth it? No. So we have an 84 overall team, 91 offense, 76 defense. We're going to have to pay these tight ends after this year. And I think I'd rather see if we get anything for Limpet right now. Because I don't think they'll give anything for Thompson realistically. And then on defense, we're hurting big time. I hope that doesn't hold us back. But I really do think it's going to. Let's actually put Copeland over to strong safety. Then we'll see if we get anything. I also put McAllister on the trade block. I'm not 100% going to trade him. But I just have to look. Let's take a 3 and a 6 for Limpet. Not really too concerned about that. I mean, there has to be a first-round pick. I guess I stand corrected. Let's go to the playoffs. And we didn't make the playoffs, so say goodbye to McAllister. I can promise you that. We went 6-10, and 10, tied with the Vikings. Bears 12-4, the Packers 8-8. Eight eight. McAllister, 3,700 yards, 27-4. That's really not bad. Buchanan, 943 with 10, 5 for Sims. Hall, 835 with 7. Thompson, 779 with 6. 4 for Glover, 3 for Manning, 6 for Buchanan. On defense, Lockhart, 108 tackles. That's no Kennard. Sack totals, 5 for Wilhite, 5 for Johnson, 4.5 for Peak. Interceptions, 5 for Bishop, 2 for Golden, 2 for Copeland, and 1 for Witherspoon. Now, I did draft Peak. I mean, he had normal development. He was like a 70 overall, so I didn't even mention it, but... No Lions, Coach of the Year. Why would we be up there? Offensive player, McAllister in three. The Bears are always up there. It's insane. Defensive player of the year. Another Bears guy. Offensive rookie. Defensive rookie. Peak at three. And that's going to be it. I feel like I almost have to manually trade McAllister to get a first-round pick. Because I kind of don't believe no one would offer us one. Two for Roberts up to a 79. Glover has star development, one XP point, so that's good. Then on defense, three for Peak, two for Wilhite, two for Copeland. Four for Rodriguez, I guess? I don't know. The Texans are going on a run right now, beating the Panthers 35-21. to 21. Wow. Bagley, you're coming back. Thompson's coming back. Ward, no. And we probably have a ton of money, no? Eh, not a ton of money, but a good amount. So we have $27 million in cap space. And since I might blow up the team, I might just hold on to it, even though we could bring in Kerry Black. And Drummond, which doesn't make sense, but Kerry Black, 97 points for the Browns. Five years is a little long, but I think that'll be all right. He's an 85 overall. He's going to go up, then drop back down, so that'll be fine, I think. Other than that, we are good to go, unless I brought in Drummond and put him down to end, but I don't really want to do that. I also have to see what the penalty is going to be for trading away McAllister, who... We're putting right on the trade block right now. See if we can get anything. Let's see these trade offers. 2-7, 3-5, 2-4, 7. Nah. So we have the third overall draft pick. I might trade back unless the Heisman is a quarterback. And it is a free safety, so I'm not too concerned about that. Are there any one and ones There usually are. That's the Texans who, that's a hard pass. Unless that's the only choice. Let's just do it. Trade it to them. We do have the 30-second pick in this draft. But I feel like our next, I, I want to say like two to three years aren't going to be great. We're kind of going to go like through another mini rebuild phrase or phase phrase. Phase, which is kind of unfortunate. Any other first? I just had to check just in case. So let's see what's going to be up here. There's a quarterback that's not great. A corner? I don't want to do that right now. Don't need an outside linebacker anymore, even though we could put him down to end if we wanted to. Oh, no. Well, Jordan Carson. Not a huge deal. It's not a great deal, but it's not a huge deal. Because we had another pick right after that. That is so unfortunate. Any other first-round talents? There's a left end and Joseph with a C-plus, though. I hate that. Running back 7-2. 
Defensive tackle with a seven. We also have, what, pick 11 in the second round? And Olin Kelly? I'm going to go Olin Kelly. He's a 75 with hidden development. Maybe we trade Holloway. 95 speed, 93 acceleration, 75 catching, 80 catch and trap. Oh, that running back's gone. I wasn't expecting that. So I think I am going to go the defensive tackle, Marcus Golden. He's a 76 with hidden development. 87 strength, 77 block shed, 83 power moves, 72 finesse. Ooh, Von Combs still on the board. He's a 71 with normal development, not great. 61 power moves, 78 finesse, 79 speed, 84 acceleration. So we have an 84 overall team, 91 offense, 77 defense. And I want to blow up this team so bad, but it's so good on offense. So I'm going to put Hall in the trade block. And then we can have Manning. We can have Glover, even though we could put Manning on there as well. And Kelly. And then Rodriguez is up to superstar. I think we're fine. I'll put Johnson on the trade block as well. People actually want Johnson. Nice. 4 5 7 2 5 7. Let's trade him to the Jets. Get us a second round pick. Even though we haven't been having a lot of great second round picks, I don't recall. McAllister's still up there. I just want to see. There's a first up there. I'm going to get, I almost want to take it anyways, but I think we're going to ride him out, which also sounds bad, but let's see what we can get for Hall. 2 7, 3 6, 2 5, 2 5 6. Let's trade him to the Colts. We actually made the playoffs and got a first round bye, going 12 and 4. If you say so, Packers 7 8 and 1, the Vikings 6 9 and 1, and the Bears 6 and 10. McAllister 4,500 yards, 36 and 10. Awesome. Buchanan, 1,000 with one, which is a little concerning. Two for McAllister, five for Allen. Receiving Glover, 1,300 yards, nine touchdowns. Manning, 9-10 with five. Thompson, 8-59 with nine. Kelly, 5-53 with three for the rookie. That's awesome. Lockhart, 106 tackles. Sack totals, eight for Wilhite, seven for Combs, six for Golden. And interceptions, three for Copeland, one for Bishop, one for Simmons. I have a good feeling we're going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. McAllister with the MVP. It's about time. Anybody else? Know? I remember Holiday, obviously. Ark and I remember. Fine, definitely. Actually, were the Texans up there? They went 8-8. Eight and eight, so Actually, unless they snuck the way in the playoffs. We're number two for Coach of the Year. Offensive player, McAllister. Defensive player, nothing. Offensive rookie, Allen 4, Kelly 5. So I was wrong there. Defensive rookie, Golden four, Combs five, Carson six. What do we have for XP? Because I don't think we have any hidden development guys. Two for Roberts. Oh, no, that's right. We have Kelly with superstar six XP. Awesome. How could I forget about that? I don't know. On defense, two for Wilhite, two for Black, three for Rodriguez, one for Copeland, three for Simmons down here, and five for Golden with star development. Okay, I'm really dumb then. I forgot about that as well. Can we beat the 11-5 Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Yes, and can we beat the 13-3 Washington football team? As of today, when I'm recording this on July 23rd, that's what their team name's going to be. But, of course, we're not going to beat them. Do we have a chance? No, the Colts won one. Are the Colts going to win their second? Yes, they are. We cannot have a new team coming in at this point and winning a Super Bowl. That's just that's out of the question. They beat the Redskins 37-31. What do we have for free agents? Penn, I want to bring back again. Fitzgerald's definitely coming back. Buller could go. Cohen could go. Rodriguez is coming back. Witherspoon we don't need. I'll even go two more years for you, Tony Penn. I mean, you're barely regressing, which is awesome. Fitzgerald, what are you going to want for money? Five years. We'll increase a little bit. Bring the guy back. Why not? Because I imagine Rodriguez is going to be basically free at 79 overall. Yeah, pretty much. Let's go five. Let's go six years. Why not? It'll be very, very cheap. 33.1. Perfect. Let's go to free agency. So we have $19.66 million. We need help at corner, definitely. Don't need a tight end. Don't need a free safety, even though X-Factor. Very tempting. Even though we could put him down to corner if we wanted to. I don't know. Tom and I like, but we're fine with our golden. Let's get a middle linebacker in Jamal Mathis on a one-year deal. He has X-Factor. I think that'll help us a lot. Anybody else? Just normal, normal, normal. What do we have here? Receiver and Donald. We don't, yeah, we could use that. 100 points by the Bucks. Let's teach them a lesson. Let's actually not do probably this whatsoever. Then nah, why not? We're going to trade Manning away. That'll be fine. Let's advance the week. See if we get our guys. We got Mathis. We got Donald. Good. I want to move on from McAllister so bad. 
I just like, I don't want to trade for a second round pick. That seems insulting, no? So we have the 19th pick and the 30th pick, plus the 30th pick in the second round, and the second and the third. There is a running back not interested in that. We're fine at outside linebacker. We're fine at tight end. Free safety, we are fine, even though Bailey looks like a beast. We could put him down, the, uh, Rodriguez down the corner if he really wanted to. That might be the best option at the moment. Even Powell, we could probably do something like that. Unless there's somebody that just blows me away. And that's not going to happen. So I'm going to go with the free safety, Bailey. He's a 77 with hidden development. 90 speed, 71 zone, 79 tackle, 81 pursuit. The strong safety is still up there. So I'm going to take him. He's a 75 with hidden development, 84 speed, 75 zone and tackle, 85 pursuit. In the second round, we're going to go Diego Santiago. He's a 69 with normal development, 90 speed, 91 acceleration, 75 catching, 81 catch and trap. And in the third round, we're going to go right end Antoine Drake. He's a 71 with hidden development. There we go. 78 power moves, 66 finesse, 70 speed, 79 acceleration. I put a few players on the trade block, but the only person they want is Delonte Manning. There's a 2 and a 5 for the Pats, who seem to be doing really bad in this, you know, 30-year rebuild. So let's send it to the Patriots. Now, we are going to have to cut Peak, who's not the best player in the world, so I'm not too worried about that. But we have an 84 overall team, 88 offense, 81 defense. I mean, we're good to go on offense. Three superstar receivers, a superstar running back, an X-Factor quarterback. But we are going to have to cut peak. And we're going to have to cut Bibbs, which I don't really want to do. I almost want to put him down the corner as well. I put Copeland down there. I put Rodriguez down there. I mean, we could go for broke with that. He's going to be a free agent after this year, so it's not a huge deal. But rather than let him walk out the door right now, we'll put him down the corner. And we'll have our two rookies starting, which will be good. So let's go to the playoffs. And we didn't make the playoffs. We went 7-8-1, and one, a very close division. Packers 8-7-1, the Vikings, the Bears 8-8. Eight eight. McAllister, did you let me down? I don't think so. 42 hundred yards, 37-8, and eight, so no. Buchanan 902 with 5, McAllister with 2, receiving Kelly 1,200 yards, 21 touchdowns. Whew, that is a lot. Thompson, 809 with two. Glover, 756 with three. Two for Buchanan, two for Addison. On defense, Bailey, 108 tackles. Mathis, 105. Sack totals, 9.5 for Wilhite, 7 for Combs, 6.5 for Mathis. Interceptions, 5 for Powell, the rookie. 3 for Bishop, 2 for Black. 1 for Bailey with 108 tackles. 21 touchdowns by a receiver. That's insane. McAllister at two. The Texans went 12 and four. Coach of the year. We wouldn't be up there. Offensive player, McAllister is going to take it home. Defensive player of the year. I feel like our receiver should be up there as well. I know he's not, but Addison at five, Steed at seven, Well, or Wellen? I don't know how to say that at eight. Defensive rookie, Powell at one, Bailey at two, Drake at four. For XP, McAllister has one, Thompson one, Roberts one. Penn's not regressing at all. Four for Kelly over here, two for Glover, one for Donald. On defense. Bailey, superstar, 7 XP. Powell, star development, 7 XP. Drake, who didn't start as 6 with star development. I don't really understand that. But Rodriguez with 2. Copeland, 1. Bibbs, 1. We finally have a new team winning this Super Bowl in the Panthers, who beat the Colts 30-27 to in Super Bowl 78. Let's see who's going to be a free agent. McAllister. I mean, what is he going to want now? Two-year deal? I actually think I'm going to increase that a little bit. Let's bring back Glover and the more important people first. Then maybe we'll franchise tag McAllister. Because I don't want him long term. I think you guys understand that. Bibbs can go. There's really nothing else to bring back. So let's give McAllister his two-year deal. Let's increase the money a little bit until the game's like, oh, it's too much, right? No, no, it's not. All right. I almost wonder if we should bring back Bishop. I mean, there's no chance he takes this offer. You know what? franchise tag so we have the 14th overall pick I really want to find an end or an outside linebacker we could put down to end and I think Harris might be the answer early first round fifth in the 41st and basically everything else let's take him he's a 76 overall with hidden development 74 power move 82 finesse 81 speed 88 acceleration I mean we need a quarterback but I don't know if Mike Beckett's the answer B, deep accuracy is his third stat. I, that's just not great. I'm about to just go with a tackle. First, the bench press. Let's take him. 
He's a 70 overall normal development. 92 strength, 74 run block, 74 pass block. Now we have a bunch of second round picks, so let's take Beckett with the second one. He's a 71 normal development. I'm nope, 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 not even interested. Just moving right along. And with our other second round pick, we're going middle linebacker Michael Wilson. He's a 68 normal development, not bad. 85 speed, 78 tackles, 68 block shed, 76 hit power. So we have an 85 overall team, 89 offense, 81 defense. We're looking great on offense. I still kind of want to trade McAllister. I just can't do it. We can't find the backup that we need to start. But on defense, we're looking good aside from middle linebacker. But I don't think that'll hold us back. Let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoffs at 10 and 6 with a wild card spot. We'll play against the Washington football team at 9 and 7. Bears 13, 2 and 1. The Vikings 7, 8 and 1. The Packers 6 and 10. This Lions one is rough just because of the Bears. McAllister 4,200 yards, 26 and 7. That's really not great. Buchanan 995, 9 touchdowns, 4 for McAllister, 5 for Allen. Donald almost 1,300 yards, 8 touchdowns. Awesome. Thompson 803 with 5. Glover 762 with 5. 5 for Buchanan. On defense, Lockhart 126 tackles, 100 for Black. Sack totals, 9.5 for Carson, 9 for Drake, 8.5 for Golden. What, what happened there? And interceptions, 4 for Powell, 3 for Black, 3 for Bishop, 1 for Page. I can't imagine we have anything up here. Maybe a defensive rookie of the year. Douglas with the MVP. Oh, no, we have McAllister at 8. Good. Coach of the year, why would we be up? Oh, no, we are at 10. All right. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, McAllister at 3. Defensive Player of the Year, Nothing offensive rookie. We have Clark at six. I don't even know who that is. Defensive rookie of the year. Harris at five. And Page at nine. Now, let's see what we have for XP. We have none for McAllister. That makes sense. Really nothing on offense. Three for Kelly. What about Donald? He has two up to an 81 overall. On defense, Harris, star development, five XP points. Three for Puel up here. Rodriguez with two. Page with five. Bailey with three. With that X factor, which is awesome. Can we beat the nine and seven football team? No, we cannot. We lost by three points. If you say so. Let's take a look. I feel like it's finally going to be time to move on from him. I feel like I've said that about McAllister probably the past five years, but I don't know. 201, two touchdowns. That's not terrible. Really not that bad. Rushing. Buchanan, 61 yards. Receiving anybody from our team. Kelly has a touchdown. Thompson with a touchdown. And that's going to be it. The Bears have won their second Super Bowl championship of this video, beating the Lumberjacks 21-14. to Which, is that the Chargers? I thought the Chargers were someone else, but it's been a long rebuild. Will Height, I'd like to bring it back. Buchanan could go. Bishop, Lockhart, Gamble. I mean, little as a backup, that's not bad. We have $37 million. I'm going to give him three years, seven fifty. That is cheap. I almost should have went four years, but I guess that's not really worth it at that point. We're going to be able to spend a lot in free agency, even though Roberts, we do have to bring back, kind of just went right past him. Let's go $6 million. Let's go 4.11. Why not? I know he's going to come back for that. What does Will Hyde want for a deal? Two 10.5. If he'll take this, fine. If not, all right, I'll take that. So we have $13 million to play with. That's probably one player, realistically. But who is it going to be? A lot of older guys that I don't want to bring in. Strong safety, no. Tight end, no. Oh, I feel like this could take us over the top just because Madden loves Superstar X Factor running backs for, I don't know, some reason doesn't make sense to me, never made sense to me. Anybody else, though, that's like cheap, can bring him in? I mean, I'll bring in O'Connell for a one-year deal, but I think that will be it. We got O'Connell, we got Irwin, perfect. Let's go to the draft. Now, I love this free safety, but I don't know if I want to risk missing out on Nick Williamson, the you know the quarterback. It wouldn't really make sense to me. Early first, we're going to have to take him. 77 hidden development, McAllister is gone. 95 throw power, 80 deep, 83 medium, 83 short. Now, we have back-to-back -back picks, so I'm going to give them both a chance. Let's try Morris first, though. 72 normal. That's all right. Doesn't really need to be a home run in the second round, even though it would be nice. But we have our quarterback. Once we get rid of McAllister, I think we'll be fine. And then I guess there was nobody else, so let's go with Curry. He's a 72 normal as well. So I put Donald on the trade block because he's 29 years old. He's going to be a free agent after this year, plus McAllister. Uh, let's take a... I might go left tackle, honestly. But I think we'll go 3-4 and a 7 from the Browns. That'll be fine. I imagine the best we're going to get for McAllister is a second round pick. I'd love a first somehow, though. Don't get me wrong. 
There's a two, six, and a seven from the Eagles. We're going to take that, even though it is in our conference. I'm sure it'll bite us in the ass, but that'll be all right. We're an 83 overall team, 84 offense, 83 defense. William is starting. That's good. I am going to put Turner over to right guard. That's why I was debating getting that left tackle. Then on defense, still hurting a middle linebacker. I know that, but there's really no option at the moment. I tried finding somebody in the draft. I just couldn't, so we're going to have to deal with this. Let's go to the playoffs. That's what you like to see with a rookie quarterback. We made the playoffs. We got the first round by going 12-4. and four. Bears 11-5, the Packers 9-7, and seven, and the Vikings 7-9. Whew! Williamson, 4,700 yards, 39-15. Awesome rookie year. Irwin, 941 with five. That's really probably why we made it. Receiving Glover, 1,100 yards, nine touchdowns on 99 catches. Santiago, 1,100 yards, eight touchdowns. Thompson, 824 with 10. Kelly, 760 with five. Irwin with four. On defense, Wilson, 117 tackles. Not bad. Sack totals, 13 for Will Height, nine for Harris, seven and a half for Golden. And interceptions, two for Rodriguez, one for Golden, Copeland, and Powell. I mean, Williamson could be MVP right here. No, oh, number three. That's unfortunate. Are we going to see? We are not. Coach of the year. We are number two. NFC offensive player. Halliday beating out Williamson. No Eagles. Defensive player of the year. No Lions. I was looking for McAllister, obviously. Offensive rookie, Williamson. We knew that was going to happen. Defensive rookie. Now we just have to hope and pray. X-Factor. We'll move on from McAllister. Maybe get another X-Factor quarterback. Star development, but 7 XP points. Gets him up to an 86 overall. He has plus 2 confidence, so 84 overall. That's fine after one year. One for Glover, one for Kelly. On defense, really nothing. Two for Harris is all right. Two for Rodriguez, two for Powell. But really nothing there. Can we beat the 10-6 Panthers? Make it to the NFC Championship game. Sure can. We lost 27-8. Does that mean we scored in, like, the fourth quarter trying to come back? I have to look at the scoreboard. Yeah, in the fourth. We didn't score the first three quarters. I'm telling you, Williamson, 220 with a touchdown. All right? That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. 3092 for Mers. You guys don't care about that. Receiving any of our guys. Kelly with a touchdown. And a touchdown. Nope, that's it. The Panthers beat the Texans 31-21. to That's their second Super Bowl this video. Who's going to be a free agent? Kelly's coming back. Noak, maybe on a one-year deal. Golden will come back. Copley could go. We're hurting a corner now. Combs can go. Thompson could go. O'Connell could definitely go. Carson, we don't really need at the moment, even though Will Height's going to be gone after the season coming up. Oh, $93 million. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So I'm going to franchise tag Noak. I offered him two years for more money than that a year, but whatever. He didn't want to come to the team, and now he's forced to. Kind of unfortunate for him, but not much I could do about it. Let's go take a quick look in the team because we're down to a 78 overall team. Granted, our quarterback, 84 overall, we lost the guy. So we need a tight end. Santiago's up to uh, star, by the way, and Williamson up to superstar. So we need a tight end. We need a running back. We need a center, which is not that bad. Then on defense, corner, middle linebacker. I'm not sure why our team is so low other than the, like, I know the overalls, but I feel like it should be a lot higher than that because we're pretty good across the board. Proctor, we don't need. Bagley, we don't need. Pace, don't need, even though it would be interesting. I mean, we need a guard. So let's go in four years. Let's go five years. I don't know how much longer I have in this rebuild. I think it's four, but I'll go five just in case. Easily, so I'm going to bring in some X Factor guys for a year. See if we make a push to the final few years of this. Colbs is up there. See, what were we looking at? Young left ends. Ooh, a young corner. Page is 24, Rodriguez is 28. 98 points for an 81 overall. That's a lot of money. But we are getting near the end. Obviously, I would not do this if we were going another 10, 15, 20 years. But in this situation, I think it makes sense. Will, or oh, I thought it said Will Height. I was going to say your brother. Um, Receiver, we're fine. Outside linebacker, we could trade Black away. So I think that'll make sense. Let's go 4, 5 million, 1.94. And I think I am going to get just another me mediocre is probably not the right word, but like a middle of the pack corner. Doesn't have any development, which is kind of unfortunate. But sometimes that's what you got to deal with. And I, I mean, I don't mind bringing another X Factor guy for a one year deal. Get the money off the books. I think we probably won't have to pay Williamson by the end of this video. I'm sure I'll be wrong. I hope I don't have to. But let's take a look who we got. We got Barkley, Easley, Finney, Mayberry, Langley, and Davis. So, everybody. so really all we need is a tight end or a running back. 
And there's always a ton of running backs here. I'm sure there won't be now. Free safety I'd be intrigued by. Is this real life? Whenever I don't need a running back, there's millions of them. I mean, Barber, not at five now. As I say, we could mess around and put him over there if we wanted to. I mean, I know we have the 28th pick, but there should be somebody here that's a running back that's somewhat good. I think we're going to go Allie Burns realistically, but let's just keep taking a look down the list just in case. Yeah, so let's go, even though Andrew seems really good, but we need a middle linebacker. Huh, I'm not sure what to do. I feel like Barber might be the move to, I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to go Barber. He's a 73 with hidden development. 89 speed, 94 acceleration, 82 catching, 76 catch and trap. Ooh, Burns is there next round. Let's take him. 70 with hidden. There we go. 83 speed, 79 tackles, 68 block shed, 73 hip power. It is going to be a long year without a good running back. Our running back is a 68 overall. I almost want to see how tall is Santiago Kelly, 6'4". We could put him over to tight end if we wanted to. 6'1", that's not going to work. What about Kelly? 5'11". So I am going to put Santiago over a tight end, which will make Barber our number three guy. And then I wanted to put Black on the trade block. And maybe even Will Height. I, I don't know exactly, because I think this is his final year. He's 31 years old. Let's test the market, see where we can get, but not 100% we're going to trade him away. How old is Drake, by the way? 25, so why is he not stuck because of X Factor? Probably. I guess that makes sense. So we got offers for both. I'd be more okay letting Will Height walk away just because he's an 85 overall. So I think for now we'll keep him. The second round pick is good, but... I don't know. It doesn't seem really worth it. I want to make a run at the playoffs at the Super Bowl. Let's take a 2-7 and a seven for Black, though, which I guess you might say doesn't make sense based on me saying I want to make the Super Bowl. But we have a backup, so we should be fine. Let's go to the playoffs. I say I want to make a run to the playoffs, and we don't even make it. We went 4-12. and 12. All right. The Bears 10-6, and six, Vikings 10-6, and six, the Packers 9-7. and seven. Williams at 4,700 yards, 30-17. and 17. I mean, come on. Hodge, I, I get 655, not great. Glover, 12 yards, six touchdowns. Barber, the rookie, 1100 with seven. Santiago at tight end, 957 with six. Kelly, 718 with six. On defense, Wilson, 103 tackles. Sack total, seven and a half for Easley, seven for Barkley, six and a half for Golden. And interceptions, three for Mayberry and Powell, two for Rodriguez, and a few ones to go around. Yilly Awards, come on, Williamson, MVP? Not even in the top seven. How does that work? Not even in the top 10. I don't know. I really don't know. NFC Offensive Player of the Year. McAllister's up there, but we're nowhere to be found. We have 4,700 yards. What are we going like on about? I don't get it. Offensive Rookie. Hodge at two. Barber at three. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have Burns at eight. The middle linebacker who does have in development, so there are you know some hope here. Let's go take a look at it. Our receiver, our middle linebacker, both had hidden. Barber has 6 XP with star development. That's all right. Nothing else really on defense. Whoo, superstar by Burns. And I passed up on him for a receiver. Not my best idea. I mean, if we're going to be completely fair, not a great idea. The Bears are Super Bowl champions again for the third time, beating the Broncos 27-20. Now, who do we have to pay? Powell, we have to pay. Bailey, we have to pay. Nowak, I'd like to. Drake will bring back. Santiago will definitely bring back. I imagine we have infinite money. 60.7, that's almost infinite. So we only have $14 million in cap space. I feel like I have to sign a running back. Like 100% sign a running back, unfortunately. A lot of just older players. Any younger guys up here. That'd be nice. I'm just saying, one time. Marcus Miller will bring it for a one-year deal. I do not want to do two years. Let's go 1, 8.2, 3.14. Unless there's a running back down here that's going to blow me away. Let's just go to running backs, actually. Oh, there's our guy. X-Factor. That's not going to be enough. 54 total points. So we're going to have to pull back. Where'd he go? On Miller, which is, that's all right. If we don't get Miller, I'd rather get the running back than an end that's really not going to play all that much. So he's down to 55 points, which, like, uh, that's fine. I'm really not worried about that. Let's see what Wilds wants now. Let's pull back because we can't do that game. But thank you. 93 total points. We got Wilds, which is perfect. I'm still going to have to draft the running back. Don't get me wrong. But I wanted to get somebody on the team. 
Then we got turned down by Miller. I mean, that's all right. Now we have the first overall pick. And the Heisman is a defensive back, but I can't, you know, I can't pass up on trading back. Let's trade back till six. That's really all right. Why is the draft time down? The, was that always like that? Might have been. Let's see who the Falcons wanted. A corner in Wilson. That's all right. Left end. That's fine as well. Free safety. Left end. Let's see who the Jets take. A left guard. Now, could we trade it for another first round pick next year? We could. That's not a great trade. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the option is there just in case. Oh, that defensive back is a free safety. So I'm not taking that. Part of me really, oh, we have the first and second pick in the second round. All right, that gives us some wiggle room to play with because we could go like an Alston who I feel like is going to be a beast. But once again, we don't really need that. I think what I'm going to do is take a good look around, check out our team a little bit. Then I'll show you the decision. All right, I've made my decision, even though there's a bunch of quarterbacks this year, but look at the centers. Top three skills out of order that typically means superstar or above. 72 overall, hidden development. 79 strength, 82 run block, 76 pass block. There are so many great players still left on the board. I feel like we have to go with the seven combine. Or maybe this left tackle, uh, I don't really know what to do. Maybe defensive tackle, which I don't really want to do. I think we're going to go Delgado, then we're going to take one of the running backs. 75 overall hidden development, 91 strength, 75 run block, 81 pass block. Feel like a guy like that would not be there, but I'm, yeah, I'm just tossing it out there. And then which running back do we go with? The scheme fit Maynard is probably the answer. It's definitely the answer. He's a 78 overall hidden development. 78 break tackle, 94 speed, 91 acceleration, 92 agility. So I put our right guard Fitzgerald on the trade block. He's going to be a free agent after this year. We just drafted that left tackle so we can move people around. Uh, yeah, I'll take a 2-7-7 seven, seven from the Buccaneers. So we have an 82 overall team, 85 offense, 80 defense. And I think we're going to be able to make a push these final few years. We're a pretty good young team across the board, which is awesome. So let's go to the playoffs. We snuck our way into the playoffs at 9 at 7. Going against the Panthers, though. They always take us down. The Vikings 10 at 6. The Green Bay Packers 8, 7, and 1. And the Bears 7 and 9. Williamson, 4,800 yards, 45 and 10. Awesome. That's MVP. Maynard, 434 at 7. Hodge with 4. Receiving Barber, 1,200 yards, 14 touchdowns. Incredible. Glover, 1,100 yards with 9. Kelly, 883 with 3. Santiago, 864 with 9. 6 for Hodge. On defense, Wilson under 5 tackles. 103 for Burns. Sack totals, 13.5 for Golden. 10.5 for Morris. 9.5 for Harris. And interceptions, 4 for Mayberry. 3 for Wilson. 2 for Burns. 2 for Bailey. I mean, we have to be MVP with Williamson. Thank you. I was about to lose my mind. Nothing else. Coach of the year. Nothing. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, Williamson, which is good. McAllister's there at four, still playing, surprisingly, down to an 84 overall. Wilson at seven, Burns at nine. Offensive Rookie Maynard at two. Defensive Rookie of the Year, nothing. So we have three players with hidden development. Let's see it. Tanny has star development, seven XP points. Delgado with star development, five XP points. Maynard, we still don't know, but has four XP, so that's probably star as well. Four for Williamson, which is awesome. I'm hoping once we upgrade this team, we can make a nice little run here. I'm hoping the Panthers don't just shove it right back in our face. Can we beat the 9-7 Panthers? Nope. Lost by three. That's the story of this rebuild, isn't it? Let's take a look. Williamson, I'm just telling you, guy, don't, don't do this to me. Oh, 262 with two. That's awesome. Murs 192 with a touchdown. Maynard, 59 yards. Touchdown for Glover, 61 yards for Kelly. Touchdown for Barber. The Cardinals winning their first Super Bowl in this video beat the Broncos 26 to 14. Let's take a look. Who's going to want to come back? Glover, definitely. Harris, definitely. Beckett, no. Turner's going to come on back. Wilson's definitely going to come on back. Why is he this far down? That has me a little concerned. We have about $40 million of cap space after this. So that's good. Page will bring back. And we should have a little bit of money for free agency, but if not, I will see you at the draft. I am going to have to franchise tag Glover. We're not letting him get away, and now we definitely don't have money for free agency. But we do have two first-round picks. What's the first one? Number 12. Not bad. Now, we are going to take a look at the Heisman because there's a chance he falls. It's not a great chance. So who else relocated if the Jaguars didn't? I know the Chargers, but there's another team. It is defensive player Eric Garrett. Who has to be long gone, probably. 
Let's see. Okay, so he's not gone. So is he going to be a bad player? Is that what I'm about to walk into? But I'm hoping he's a corner. Eric Garrett. Oh, he's a linebacker. Yeah, I'm not taking that. What do we have for second round picks? We have two. All right, so we can definitely fill up this team. Look at Henry right there. Probably a beast of a player. I'm not exactly sure where to go because we're not dying for a bunch of players. All these corners are terrible. Maybe Stewart? We could probably wait on that realistically. That left guard looks good, but we're fine on the offensive line. We do need an outside linebacker. I'll give you that. But, I mean, what do I just take Garrett just because he's going to have superstar or something? That seems kind of foolish. I think we're going to go DeAndrew Jones. He's a 78 with hidden development, ranked 2. 92 strength, 76 block shed, 81 power moves, 74 finesse. Now, Stewart is still on the board, so we're going to take him. He's a 73 with normal. That's insane. 86 speed, 84 tackles, 75 block shed, 80 hit power. In the second round, I'm going to take a chance on this corner. It says first round talent rice. Let's, let's see it. 73 normal. I mean, that's not bad for like a number three, number four. 89 speed, 76 van, 70 zone, 69 play rec. And with our other second round pick, we're going left guard Dalton Jacobs. He's a 71 with normal development. All right. 90 strength, 62 run blocks, not great, but 78 pass. Yes, Williamson's up the superstar X Factor. Barber's up the superstar. This has to be our year. Maynard does have star development, though. That is disappointing, but we're an 86 overall team, 88 offense, 84 defense. We're deep on the offensive line. We're looking pretty good on defense, I would say, even though I kind of want to trade Golden away, see if we can get anything for him. He is 29 years old. I think that would make a lot of sense. What can we get for, I assume it's Marcus Golden? Yes. Uh, two and a seven, two, seven, two, seven. A lot of people want him. Two, six, two, five, seven. Let's take the Browns offer. Why not? All right. So we missed the playoffs, which does not really make sense. We went nine and seven. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. A tough division. Vikings 13 and three. The Bears 10 and six. And the Packers also nine and seven. Williams at about 4,400 yards, 34 and 11. Great year. Maynard 901 with 11. Receiving Barber 1,000 with 14. Incredible. Glover 964 with 6. Santiago 842 with 4. Kelly 3. On defense, Wilson 115 tackles. 106 for Rodriguez, 100 for Mayberry. Sack total 16 for Harris. Glad I brought him back. 8.5 for Morris, 6.5 for Jones, 6 for Curry. And interceptions 3 for Page, 2 for Puel. And a few wants to go around. Harris could be Defensive Player of the Year. MVP, Joseph Douglas. Holiday number two. We are at number eight. Coach of the Year, Kevin Irwin. We could be up here. We're not, but we could have been. Offensive Player, Williamson at five. Defensive Player of the Year. Harris is going to take it home. I told you. I told you. Offensive Rookie, Lowry at seven. Defensive rookie, DeAndre Jones at number one, which is awesome. For XP, we have two for Williamson. It'll be up to a 99 overall. We have one for Kelly. We have five for Barber. He's going to get a development up again. We're going to have three superstar X-Factor like receivers. That's insane. Jones, superstar, six XP. Burns has three. Mayor, star with three, de uh, three XP. All right. Pretty good. Oh, no. This is the end? I thought we had one more year. I must have missed somebody on my list because I have 29 Super Bowls, or 28 rather. This is supposed to be number 29. Let's find out who won it just in case. The Panthers, that would be their third. So here's how that's going to load up or hold up, whatever you want to say. One for Cardinals, three for Panthers, one for Chiefs, three for Raiders, four for Texans, three for Giants, four for the Chargers, three Bears, five for the Ravens, and two for the Indianapolis Colts. I've never seen so many teams win so many. It's usually like a lot of ones that you have one team has like maybe four, maybe three, something in that range. You don't often see five and two fours, and it's just very unlikely. Let's go look at the records really quickly. Herbert, 80,000 yards. Mitchell, we knew Mitchell was going to be up there for sure. Uh, Bard's up there as well for the Lumberjacks. Let's go past touchdowns. Mitchell, 683. Herbert, 646. Anybody from the Lions? No, rushing yards. We're not going to have anybody up here. Rushing touchdowns. We have Henry, who I don't remember being on our team, but I'll see, you know, whatever. Uh, receiving yards. Jerry Rice, obviously. Nobody. Receiving touchdowns, maybe? No catches. Nothing. Defensive sacks. I mean, didn't think so. Oh, uh, that's Dick Lane, I assume, so that's nothing. LeBeau's up there as well. All right, so we're good there. Let's go to season stats. 
Anything from the future? Nope. Anything from the future? 2020 Mahomes. That's technically in this game, the future. Jalen Hurts, 47. Wow. Actually, no, no. There's someone else. Mitchell. I mean, what a foolish question. Rushing yards. 2025 Elliott. 2027. I keep just skipping right past some people. Saquon Barkley. Rushing touchdowns. Barkley at number whatever he is, 22. Nothing else. Receiving yards. Nothing receiving touchdowns. Kelly for the Lions with 21. There we go. Green for the Bears, of course. Another green still there with the Bears again. Mitchell for the Panthers. Birds up there for the Bears. Catches. Nothing. Defensive sacks. 2044. 25 sacks. Wow. Defensive interceptions. I mean, you're never going to see anything up there. Then let's go to games really quickly. Nothing. Seven touchdowns for Holiday. He was going off, to be fair. Rushing yards, 2042 for Landrum. Rushing touchdowns, 2025 for Elliott. What did he have? Five in one game. Pretty good. Uh, receiving yards. Nothing. Receiving touchdowns. Nothing. Catches, 2032 for Coffee. Defensive sacks. We could get something up here or not. Defensive interceptions. Nothing. And that is it for that. Is there anything else I really want to look at? I don't think so. so let's just go take... Oh, is our team just going to be gone? Can I have a look at them? Oh, no, I can't. It's kind of crazy. Oh, this isn't our team. This is the Bears? They switched this to the Bears for some reason. Why? The Bears don't even have a good team. Whatever. I don't really understand it. But if you want to go, uh, join my Patreon, vote on the next 30-year rebuild I do, go to patreon.com slash headstronggaming. For $2 a month, you can vote on the teams. You can get your name in the credits at the end of the video. $5, you get an exclusive realistic rebuild video a month. And at uh, $20, you can do a realistic rebuild with me, either on video, on stream, off video, whatever you want to do. Go check that out. Link down in the description below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I think I'm going to do one more 30-year rebuild before Madden 21 comes out, but... Not 100% sure about that, so why did I bring it up? Not sure. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you to my patrons for the month of July. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, the oldest man alive, Greg. And thank you, hashtag Team Relic.